Good morning, happy Halloween. Hope you're all all right. Good morning, hope you're having a lovely Saturday morning. Um, we've got a brilliant show. I can't wait, I can't wait because we've got Alison Marion in the house. She's here, she's well, um, and she's really, really excited to be back on screen with us. So we're really looking forward to giving her a big welcome back at nine o'clock. Nine o'clock and 11 o'clock, she's gonna be joining me with two great makes. We've got a brand new make from her, um, which when are we gonna put those bags on pre-order actually, Kat? Right, do you know what? We'll do them now, just because I know how popular Alison and Marion's kits always are. So the bags, the cat and the dog slouchy tote bag is so cool. They're in a bundle, they're beautiful. We're gonna go through everything. This is what they look like. Here's, here's the cat one. <laughs> oh no, here's the dog. You have got the cat one. There's the dog, oh. I love, love, love. Love those. So they're coming up, they're on pre-order today. They are on pre-order nice and early, just the bundle, so you'll be able to grab those early, because I think they will sell out um, during that nine o'clock show. It might even be before. Uh, we also have the very, very popular Mummy and Me aprons. We love them. How hilarious, this is brilliant. So you've got the yoke one, and we're gonna be doing the Christmas pudding one today. <laughs> Paul, I understand now when he says, I was looking at the camera, I look a bit strange. It does look a bit scary, doesn't it? <laughs> Hello, happy Halloween. It is Halloween. Uh, no tricks here, though. All treats. I'll explain in a moment. Shall we do the early bird special? So, do you know what? I hate this word, beige, beige. It's just so beige, isn't it? But actually, it's really, really useful. It's really, really useful for our stash because sometimes if you don't want to use a stark white background for quilting or for linings or for appliques, it's really beautiful. It goes really, really nicely with loads of designer fabric like William Morris. It looks lovely with Liberties. It looks really, really nice with Tilda. Uh, it's just £13.96. It's the early bird. You are getting two and a half metres of beige, already pre-cut, you're getting half a metre for free for £3.49. So it's cut into two and a half metre um, pre-cuts, but you're only paying for two meters, which is brilliant, because this is always gonna be so, so useful. I've gotta be very, very careful of the tower of threads that Kat's built here. She's like, do not knock them over. I won't open it all out because I will knock it over, but it's 112 wide. You don't trust me, do you? You don't trust me, Kat. We've got the most, oh, beautiful, beautiful fabric. This is two and a half meters, 100% cotton. It's really lovely quality. Don't think just because we're going to an early bird special price that it's any lesser quality. You know we do some of our most popular, some of our favorite products on early bird. We want everybody to open their order nice and early. £13.96, good morning everybody. It's busy, busy, busy already this morning. Uh, don't forget to check out the pre-order section on the website. I, have a, I will show you in a moment how to do that. Uh, and you can already pre-order Alice and Marion's brand new kit. So, this is today's early bird. Do not miss it. Those of you that have got, got it in your basket, just be aware, if you've got multiple units in your basket, it will, it will come pre-cut into two and a half metre cuts. And then the next two and a half metre. So if you order two units, they'll come as two, two and a half metre pre-cuts. Um, the warehouse basically have already pre-cut it. It's all ready to go. It's ready to be sent out to you. So you can get making. What about for Christmas stocking linings and, um, and sack linings and things like that? This is going to be great to be able to do the nice aprons. We've got some great uh, projects coming up today and some lovely inspiration. Back in quilts even, uh, for cushions, for, for toy making. These are lovely for dolls actually, aren't they? These are really, really lovely for dolls. We're live on YouTube, by the way. We're still having a few problems with Facebook, but we're, um, we are live on, on YouTube this morning. Or download the app. The app is brilliant and it's actually, I find, the quickest and most convenient way to watch. I love watching on the app. Let me know where you're watching from on the app. Um, and I mean, like, I, I want to know not where you are as in I'm in London or I'm in Manchester. I want to know where you are. Are you watching with a cup of tea in hand, still in bed? Um, I want to know the sort of weirdest places. I know we can't go far at the moment, but yeah, where are you watching from? It's just great that you can watch on the move, isn't it? Great, you can watch the move. So, £13.96. Also, the cushions that we had um, 
what were you going to say? The reindeer. Oh, the reindeers we had. So if you manage to get the reindeer, if you want to scale it up, maybe, this is going to be a great base for your reindeer, isn't it? You can add some of your favourite Christmas prints. In fact, at 10 o'clock... We've got a whole hour of Christmas makes. We're going to transform from Halloween into Christmas at 10 o'clock. We've got some brilliant, brilliant um, fabrics and kits. We've got some great inspiration coming up at 10 o'clock. So do make sure you stay tuned. Come in and say hello to us today. As I say, it's really interactive. And especially as lovely Alison's back with us, we want to hear from you. So um, we are, as I say, live on Facebook. Uh, sorry, no, 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 no ignore that we are live on youtube and you can message on the youtube channel you can also do it via our website now which is fantastic let's have a look at our website so those of you that are new to us it's www.sewingstreet.com this is our home landing page if you scroll down you can see all the categories and shop if you click watch live on the right hand side you'll be able to add the early bird to your basket and you'll also be able to send any messages directly to the studio um, there you go, Cat's in the hot seat today, it's lovely Cat and Paul. Oh, Paul texted me yesterday and said, is it dream team tomorrow? And I said, you're in, aren't you? <laughs> but no, it's me, Cat and, uh, and Paul in today. If you scroll down, we've still got some of the recycled toy filling as well. That was brilliant. That was very, very popular. Only a very small amount of stock. Um, lots of the reindeer sold out yesterday. But if you go to the right-hand side and you can see pre-order, we've got all of the fabrics that are going to be coming up in this hour. And then we've also got... Um, keep going, keep going, keep going. We've got a lot of fabric in this first hour. There's that big thread bundle, which is amazing, available on Split Pay as well. Keep going. There they are, these bundles, they are brilliant. 29 pounds and 44, oh, in fact it should be, no, hang on, we'll have a look at the prices. Uh, <laughs> I think they're all 27.99 if I'm honest. I think they're all 27.99 but we'll find out for you. But they're there available on pre-order. Absolutely make the most of those whilst you can. Uh, and you can do, of course, all of your shopping and only pay one P&P throughout the day. So, as I say, it is Halloween. This is great folding, isn't it? There we go. I'll pop it behind the, uh, the tower of threads. So, today is Halloween. So, we thought, right, I'm not up for tricks this year. No more tricks. Just some treats, please. Please, we all need some treats. I tell you what, Alison Marion being here is just a treat, isn't it? Especially when she brings cakes. She's bought cupcakes that all look like Freddie Mercury. It's just brilliant. We love them. So, Alison's going to be joining me at 9 o'clock. But we also thought throughout the day, on the hours where I'm on my own, so this hour and 10 o'clock, at random times, Kat's going to tell me that I'm allowed to pick one of the tickets out of the pumpkin. And we've got lots of different tickets in here. I'm not sure what they are. Um, in fact, do you know what they are, Kat? Right, Kat knows what they are. They're a secret from me. I, I'm not quite sure. Um, but they are amazing, I'm being told. So we've got five, how many? Five treats? Six treats? We've got loads of treats to get through in this hour and, of course, 10 o'clock as well. So stay tuned. And our treats will then go live onto the website. So stay tuned because we're going to do some this hour. Um, the Tower of Threads. In fact, let's just talk about them now whilst I'm here. So... Um, we were talking about this yesterday. The metallic threads with the reindeers. Oh, I love, love, love them. The variegated threads. I don't want to ruin this tower, but I do want to take them down so we can have a look. Oh, that's a picture. Technology, eh? It baffles me still. So, I think, that's, I think it's going to take off, you know, technology. Yeah. I think, do you know what? I think the internet, it's going to be, it's going to be a big thing, you know. It's going to be a big thing. You mark my words. I think it's going to be big. So, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got six thread packs. We've got variegated. We've got fancy uh, metallic threads. We've got beautiful 70 weights. Uh, we've also got these denim threads, which are gorgeous. All Guterman. All polyester, all top quality, huge array of colour. And I must say, Kat has found a loophole. 
I love a loophole. It's good to be able to, you know, put together bundles which mean that you can get them on split pay. So today you can get these for £51.33, which if you actually calculate how many spools you get, you pay over then you pay uh, three monthly payments of £51.33. Uh, it, it will total £153.99. But it's three easy payments, so you can start sewing and doing your Christmas makes with all of these. I mean, you are getting so much thread, especially if you love decorative stitching, if you love top stitching. Lots of these are your 70 weights, so these are going to be absolutely ideal for all of your decorative stitches. You're getting 72 spools of thread, and they are big spools of thread. These ones, your um, denim ones, are absolutely beautiful. 100 metres on each spool. This colour, the gold, would look amazing with your denim blue. It's like the classic, isn't it? You've got some great denim threads there, just to give you some lovely decorative uh, stitching. Then these are your 70 weight, so obviously they're a slightly heavier weight. It means you get 70 metres on each spool. And look at these variegated colours. That one's my favourite. It's like fruit salads. I know you. that's your favourite, isn't it? That one's cool. And this one, that's your favourite um, as well, isn't it? Is it the same colours? I think it's very similar, isn't it, Paul? You've got all your blues, you've got your pinks. Oh, I just love them. And then we've also got the 70 weight solids Guterman. They are beautiful. And then we've got this huge value pack and metallics so if you're thinking of doing christmas makes you can get sewing get stitching with your christmas makes uh for just 51 pounds and 33 pence today get them home today for that price and then all you do well it's really really easy actually because you don't have to do anything so you pay the first 51.33 um, and you pay post and packaging with the first or with the first uh, payment and then what day does it say it's the 31st of course Halloween so the 31st of uh, November and then by the end of the year the 31st of December your, your last payment will come out and um, why not why wouldn't they why wouldn't they go out on that day the last do they banks close on New Year's Eve don't know. Oh, sometimes is it like a bank holiday? Anyway, there are thereabouts. You'll pay three payments <laughs> and it will be paid off and you don't need to call up or, or worry about that. So it's three easy payments, £51.33, and it, that, that's just uh, £153.99, which is brilliant value for money. Oh, we've had lots of lovely messages come in this morning. Hi, Lorraine. Lorraine said, morning. Watching on my TV with my PJAMS cuppa. Happy Halloween. Oh, lovely. PJAM jams? No, I haven't. I, I call it either PJs or jams. Jimmy jams, jam jams. You're not at that, Paul. No. Margaret said, loving the show. Can you tell me how to pre-order the dog bag? Love, Margaret. Absolutely, yeah. Well, I'll remind you again if you if you missed it if you missed it just a minute ago. We'll show you again. Absolutely, no problem. Um, if and also Wendy, hello Wendy. Happy Halloween, everyone. Um, <laughs> I was going to be a pumpkin today. I am. Um, did actually years ago uh i used to work um oh, with with jewelry and years and years ago i once did a show wearing a big pumpkin outfit which was a seven to eight year old's pumpkin outfit i have got a cat mask and i've got a witch's hat and i was going to put the apron on but we put it on the mannequin instead so i'm not very halloweeny i've got like a cat sort of print on haven't i bit spooky but I thought no I don't want to scare everybody it is early isn't it um so uh Paul I walked in and I didn't have any makeup on and he was like oh it's good of you to dress up for Halloween look at you wearing your costume it's like Ugh. uh morning I'm laying in bed watching got to get up soon I'm off to get my flu jab later but we'll be back um but we'll be back again later Paul's at his it's, it's it's really good how they're doing it just like a system of sort of going in and out isn't it i think obviously a lot of people are having this year that's oh that's good see you later then hi sharon morning vicky had a coffee and homemade fruit soda bread Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. uh balls to me in bed nice and remote handed to me to watch uh, to watch you good husband that is a very good husband isn't it that sounds lovely hi janet oh it says at the bottom you're from kent but you're watching in sunny spain Oh, oh, I'd love to go to sunny Spain. 
We did a holiday show the other day and um, yeah, we were saying, oh, does it make you sad or happy talking about holidays? But do you know what? It, it makes me envious that you're in Spain, but also I'm um, oh, just craving that summer, summer heat and the nice warm sea. Do you think? I don't mean it like that, do you think? Um, Kat's friends are getting married in Australia next April, April. And they'd booked to go out and they're just praying, fingers crossed, that things, you know, change and we're able to go. Uh, I said, I haven't sorted my visa yet. I'm kind of waiting to see whether, you know, we'll be allowed in. But, um, yeah, hopefully you will be. Hopefully. You just never know, do you? Well, okay, anyway, enough of that. Let's talk about how to get involved today. So, just to remind Margaret, if you want to pre-order the dog bags, click watch live, scroll down. On the right-hand side, can you see it says pre-order there? If you click that, and you'll have to scroll quite far down. And I mean right the way down, because we've got a lot of fabric this hour. This is all ATM products. We've got loads to do in 45 minutes. <gasps> loads to do. And then they're there. So, um, Kat's text Hayley about the prices, because some of them, are, they're, they're a bit different, aren't they? So we'll find out what the actual price is before Alison comes on. But don't worry, if you're pre-ordering, everybody will pay the... Um, the correct price, so don't worry. You can also browse all the categories on the website. So you can see the categories are there. Sewing machines, did you see the cover stitch machine yesterday? If you missed our extended show, we did the cover stitch, the easy cover. We also did a brand new um, 664 Pro overlocker, and we did the Italian 9. So we had the most amazing show with Bro Jane Brogan yesterday, uh, with our mate Brogan, Jane Brogan, <laughs> if you do want to make the most of those today, remember the split pay is available and they are all extremely limited. So do make the most of it. Today's show, maybe I should talk about the menu. It's quarter past eight. Gosh, what are we doing? Gassing all morning. This is uh, what we've got coming up for you today. Eight o'clock, we've got loads of stash bundles to get through this morning. At nine o'clock is the cat and dog tote bags with Alice and Marion, which are amazing. They're beautiful. Um, <laughs> can we see our cat? No. Ten o'clock, we've got a really funny picture of a cat. Um, feeling festive with Christmas mates. I'm going to get my Christmas jumper on, have a hot chockey maybe. Wendy bought us some more from the hotel at uh, 10 o'clock. 11 o'clock, we've got Alison Marion's most popular kit, one of the most popular kits, revisited again. So those of you that have missed it or want to buy another one for a friend, a loved one, Mummy and Me apron at 11 o'clock. And then at 12 o'clock, uh, we'll repeat yesterday's 8 o'clock show. So keep your eyes peeled for those trick-or-treats, remember. Where should we go first, Cat? Natural seeded Osnaberg. Now's the chance to stock up. Buy the half metre. If you're making uh, rag dolls, if you're making uh, cushions, I just love natural seeded Osnaberg. It's beautiful. You know, talking about when we were, we were saying about beige, I mean, they're great stash builders. This is another one. I always think it looks really beautiful with Tilda. I really do. And it's lovely and wide. I mean, you get a lot of fabric for £2.50. £2.50 and it's really um, soft. You know sometimes when you're thinking of a, a, a natural seeded Osterberg, sometimes you can think of something that's quite stiff and rigid whereas actually this is really, really beautifully soft. At £2.50, a half metre, uh, we do of course remind you that um, it's cut off the bolt for you so you can purchase as much as you want and you'll still only pay one person packaging. Can you see that natural seeded effect? So it's got like, um, yeah, very fancy vanilla ice cream, like the posh vanilla ice cream. Just two pounds, 50 a half metre. Come on in and say hello to us this morning. We want to have your messages. Hi, Glennis. Glennis has said, happy Halloween. We've been singing. We've been singing, um, we've been singing all sorts this morning. We've been singing, Alison, do you know the song Elvis, Elvis Costello, I think it is, isn't it? Um, and we've also said, um, Happy Halloween, this is Halloween, singing all of the Halloween songs. Um, two pounds fifty a half metre. Oh, Kat wanted to say as well, thank you so much to all of you for your messages, because she um, did get all of your messages on Instagram last night, so she said thank you very much for sending your messages. Did you say that you, you were talking to Barbara, Paul's mum? Oh. Uh, £2.50, a half metre. This is your natural seeded Osnaberg. Half a metre. 
they are flying out. Right, good job we've got a lot of units of this, but just remember that that's there. I am going to move on because we've got loads to do, but just remember that that is there. Let's do the Tilda uh, Fat Quarters. We're going a bit off piece here, but actually I think that these will go really, really nice with the beige. The beige and also with the uh, Natural Seeded Osnaberg. Have you heard this, Paul? So, Kat, she thought that they were in the hairdressers. Let me open these out. They're Tilda Angels. I think it's because she's saying she, she really wants her hair doing. Um, <laughs> She thought they were there ready to have the haircuts. They've got all lovely haircuts though, haven't they? And lovely little rosy cheeks. So, two fat quarters of Tilda. You might have seen um, Delphine using these for the beautiful purses and, and um, purse clasped in the little bags. They're really beautiful. But I mean, you could fussy cut these, couldn't you? And applique them or use them in the centre of EPP. So, £5.99 isn't just this one. You're getting these. These are £5.99 and I don't know if you're anything like me but when I'm shopping online and I think right because not very many companies do this quite often they'll do a thing where they'll say um, you know free delivery after a certain amount so I'll always try and make up a certain amount whereas if you think of our postage and packaging you only pay one all day long and you can check out on as much as you want I certainly wouldn't just be spending £6 today because then I'll still have to pay my 3 95 post and packaging. I'll be thinking, right, what else is it that I'm going to need? I'm probably going to need some machine needles at some point. I might need some more beige or any of the, you know, the early bird, the uh, reduced prices. It's a really good chance, once you've opened your order, to stock up on any bits and bobs that might be on the website. So have a bit of a think. Do you need any wadding? Do you need any extra bits and bobs? Any spare rotary blades? Things that even if you're not quite sure that you need right now, toy filling, if you're doing Christmas makes, have a look at the uh, 10 o'clock show later on because we've got some great Christmas uh, fabrics. Um, you can check out as many times as you want. So there's a lot of, um, uh, there's a, a box that says, would you like to combine your order? You tick yes. Yeah. So you can keep coming back in and out and, and checking out on as many orders as you want and you'll still only pay one P&P. And the same will happen, by the way, when we launch, um, when Yarn Lame starts next week as well. Even though we are actually going to be a sort of separate show to Yarn Lane, you'll still be able to combine your order with um, the postage and packaging that you've already paid from sewing, which is brilliant. Fallen Leaves Bundle next, which is this one. Oh, have you just made this up? This is beautiful right i think that you have i think that you've absolutely outdone yourself here i think this is the best one you've done she has surpassed our expectations completely wow right so it was on on thursday and it completely sold out we've managed to rebundle a few of them <gasps> oh she said right in fact i had to steal stock from other places to be able to get it that is Gorgeous cat. I love this. The leaves this morning in the car were all just because it was very so windy, but I was like, oh, I love seeing all these leaves. They're beautiful. My mum's got a bit of a thing about she hates leaves. <laughs> my my mum just doesn't like it. She's always out um, brushing all of the road. I'm like, leave them, they're lovely. I like the crunch of the leaves under your feet. Are they good for the ecosystem as well? Are they? telling us half a meter of should we go through the colors because these are all lovely they're all absolutely beautiful if you want to get more of one of them you see you might be able to find them on the web but cat has oh have they all gone they've gone that is a beautiful beautiful bundle can we write that down we need to get more of those that's my favorite bundle i love it should we do it oh look at how happy that's made cat oh we can't show her She's so happy. Lots of lovely messages in this morning. Thank you very, very much. Hi, everyone. Should we do the other bundle? I thought you were going to say Sharon. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hi, Lily. Morning all. Up for the early bird. Morning all. Up for the early bird. Now doing some embroidery. Um, the donut making late. Donut making? How do you make donuts? Donut making later on a rare Saturday off. I need a coffee and toast first. Oh, enjoy a Saturday off. That's beautiful. Beautiful. 
I want to know how you make um, donuts. I saw on Bake Off when they were making bagels and I couldn't believe that you boil them. I've never known how you make donuts. Hi, Becky. Right, this is uh, Alison Marion's daughter, Becky. She said, sat with a cuppa and puppy dog ready to watch mum. Oh, honestly, she's so excited. She's gutted that you're not here because you were supposed to be here. Well, I don't know whether you were supposed to be here, but we were supposed to be doing your pattern, Becky, later, weren't we? Uh, nice to be able to watch her live uh, rather than working for once. Oh, messaging in a bit as well. Messaging when she's on. I said, happy, happy Halloween. We've had some lovely cupcakes. We've had lovely cupcakes. Kat's already had one as well. Morning, Vicky. Hello, team. Hello, Campbell. They're saying hello back to you. They're saying hello back to you, um, Sophia. Uh, I'm making a... What are you making? A book cushion today. Oh, amazing. And, oh, well, rugby on later. Is the rugby on today? I haven't watched, I haven't watched a rugby game, I don't think, ever in my life. How strange is that? Right, these are already going into baskets, and I'm, I'm guessing again. £22.99. Half a metre. Oh, gosh, did you see my nose poking in then? Look. That's my nose. No, that was quite scary. I was thinking, what is that? It's my nose. Does it stick out that much? Oh, no, don't do it again. Right, half a metre of blue. Royal blue. Sunshine. Lilac, tangerine, chartreuse, bright pink, all mottle effect as well, so they're absolutely beautiful. Half the stock in baskets already. You saw how quick that last bundle sold out. A rainbow bundle like this is beautiful. Do you know when we were talking about holiday fabrics of the day? This is what it's like, it's just a bit of sunshine. Maybe you've done all your Christmas makes. Maybe you've done your autumn and Christmas makes and you're ready for this. Oh, by the way, I know that I said on air the other day that Clive was on today. He's on tomorrow. So, I've got Alison Marion with me today. Um, Clive's in very safe hands with Debbie Shaw tomorrow. Uh, you've got a brilliant, brilliant lineup as well tomorrow. Shall we pick something out of here? Let's do. That's from Wicked, sorry. Uh, okay, let's do this one. Sorry, I wasn't casting a spell. So, um, I've not seen this one before, so I just picked it out. Kat's saying, oh, I already, I stole this out of a bundle. Oh, she's telling me I have seen it before. Home Sweet Home April Showers Panel. What was this from? Oh, it was with jewels. Yes, it was a wall hanging, the Home Sweet Home long wall hanging. And because um, I remember it's got the um, watering cans and the flowers. Yes, absolutely. This is lovely. So, even though, look, they have the little labels that will say, um, main birdhouse and flowers and things like that. You don't need to use them like that, you don't need to, but it's just a great way of being able to stock up coordinating fabrics and having loads of fabric prints. For somebody who's doing something like English paper piecing, rather than, or, or smaller piecing, for anybody who's thinking, instead of buying half a metre each, or even fat quarters, this is such great value for money, because let me count how many prints, you've got a really long stripe on there, which would be lovely for binding. Um, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 prints here. You've got 13 different prints and they are all absolutely beautiful. 11 pounds and 99 pence. It's called April Showers. It's lovely, it's from that Home Sweet Home Butter, but it's, it's, you do, can use it for whatever you want, obviously. Um, I think the book was an Annie's Quilting book, if I'm not mistaken, but um, how amazing is that? So lovely. Okay, we're halfway through the day already, Kat's just said. <laughs> morning Jill she said morning Vicky can't get onto Facebook lives I know we're having some issues again issues but we're on um, we're on on the app and we're on on YouTube and we're on on Sky and we're on on uh, Freeview so you can watch us on loads of places still where are you watching us from Jill Holiday Lodge in Devon what part of Devon 
Oh, is it windy and rainy? Nothing else to do. Watch us. Just stay with us. Hopefully we can brighten up the day a bit for you. Thank you very much for your messages. Uh, Daisy May, Fat Quarter. Fat Quarters, these ones. Oh, these are so pretty. Did you put these together as well? Because that's a lovely bundle. £10.49. Can you tell that Kat is ruthless all of a sudden? She's been stealing from other people's schedules. I want to know your secret. So, there's a bit on the website, apparently, that says new in. And she's just taken everything that's new in. Anything that comes in as new, she's like, yeah, mine, 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 mine. Fair play. Oh, look at this. So, this is a fat quarter. It's half of a half metre and you're getting four of them. But this is so, so pretty and they all coordinate so beautifully. So, you've got your flowers. You've also got um, your fat quarter. Then you've also got your lovely pink, um, really, really beautiful little... Um, <laughs> Oh no, have you heard? So I've got a, I've got a, a lovely little girl who watch, watches, um, what's her name? No, I know her mum's name, but I'm not sure of the little girl's name. But she said to me that her daughter calls me Princess Hungry Tummy. How cute is that? I don't know, at least it's, it's princess. But because I always talk about food, she says, oh, they love watching me. And her little daughter calls me Princess Hungry Tummy. So now I, I want to be referred to as Princess Hungry, tell me a thing. <laughs> Hi Tiffany. Happy Saturday. Oh, you're having a fry up, you're having a fry up. This is a, a lovely fry up. You've got bacon, sausage, hash browns, egg, chopped tomatoes, beans, mushrooms and toast. Oh yeah, what a way to start, what a way to start. Thank you Tiffany. Enjoy your brekkie. Nice Saturday brunch, isn't it? Well, I say half eight. Nice little brekkie. Um, just, just for ten pound forty nine, four fat quarters. How good's that? Let's do our lilac bundle next. Okay, now when we had our lilac bundle, I think um, yesterday our amethyst bundle it was very very popular in um, sort of homage to our founder and uh, Steve Bennett and of course our, our sister channels Gemporia Cat put together a bit of a gemstone show for us so we had all different colours of gemstones and this was the lilac to purple planes £12.99 half a metre of lilac I love the fact that you've got all of these different uh, shades of purple it's not very often that you, you can find uh, fabric stores that have got more than one shade. <laughs> oh, they're laughing at Princess Hungry Tummy. I, I'm not even that hungry all the time. I don't know where this has started. I don't know whether I should be a bit offended by this, that everyone wants to talk to me about food all the time. Cat was the one who's had cupcakes this morning before we went live at 8 o'clock. So what colours have we got here, Cat? Amethyst, lavender, magenta and purple. That's my guess. Two metres for £12.99. pence. Remember, that's two metres of fabric, all pre-cut, ready. Well done, everybody checking out. It's busy, busy, busy this morning. Don't forget, pre-order on the bags because they're already going. They're already going. It does, doesn't it? Do you like our set? Looks great, doesn't it? Ah, oh, Hayley, head of TV, did it? Shall we do? Right, yesterday we um, were talking about extra wide backing fabrics. We've managed to get a more stock allocated to these. Um, so the navy is very, very low on stock now. We literally have the last of stock. Can't add any more to this either. Um, it's got that really lovely squiggle as well. It's got really, really lovely squiggle. £8.99. It is really, really wide. I might actually show you. In fact, it is long enough that we could socially distance and, and hold each side, potentially. Or shall I pin it on? Grab a side, cat, any side. <laughs> Thank you. 
Look at all this. Oh, she's just, can I just say, she's just gone like this, taking her hair down and gone, whoa, she's come on the telly. <gasps> so, look how wide this is. It is, can you see in the graphics, Paul, what it says, how wide it is? 280 centimetres. 280, 280, uh, which is 108 inches. I mean, it's, it's amazing, isn't it? I'm thinking, even though we say quilt backing, you don't necessarily need to use it for quilt backing. It's no less a quality. It's really, really lovely quality. But you could, of course, use this for, um, you could use it for, for, for bags. You could use it for cushions, cushion backs. You could use it, yes, for your, bag, uh, for your backing of quilts. Because you're not going to have to piece from all of your stash all the time. You don't need to worry about that so much. Great for toy making. Lovely for linings, for bag linings. And it's got that really beautiful sort of squiggle across it, which adds a bit more interest. Look, look how much fabric you're getting for £8.99. <laughs> Hair looks lovely, cat. You don't need to go to the hairdressers. There she is. Good morning. She did like a... Hello, did you see you there over the shoulder, cheeky cheek? <laughs> Thank you, Kat. So we've got, <laughs> we've also got it in green and we've got it in cream. So they are both in, uh, she did do a little coy. Oh, uh, lovely green. This is a lovely bright lime green, isn't it? £8.99 half metre again. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I wasn't ready. No, it's my, it's my fault. There we go. These are your greens. Extra wide backing fabric. Again, so they're all um, exactly the same price, exactly the same width. I'm not going to hold this one out open, but I am thinking for giant um, dinosaur teddy bears. You could get some of the new toy stuffing that we've got, which is recycled from old plastic bottles. Brilliant, isn't it? Uh, but you could make dinosaurs, crocodiles, all sorts, couldn't you? Play mats for children, great for backing of, of play mats as well, all fronts of play mats. Dragons, 100% cotton. Quilting weight, lovely patchwork as well, don't get me wrong, still cut it up and do what you wish. But I think this is a, a nice little quilting pattern to follow if you... If you're starting your free motion and you want to try and follow a bit of a line, you've got your pattern already there. We've also got the squiggly in cream. Haven't got a lot though. Haven't got a lot though. <laughs> this is look nice to Tilda. And this is look really, really pretty with the um, the four fat quarters that we had from earlier. Just make everything go a lot further. It's always going to be useful. Did you get the beige earlier on? Get this too. Beige, still available by the way, if you do want to get the early bird special, it's two and a half metres of beige. I don't know why I say it like that. Why do we say it like that? Where have we got that from? Oh, uh, maybe we've got it from John Scott. John apparently says it like that. No, I think John's got it from us. Do you know what I think I've got it from? The way that I say sage. I once went to um, have a, one of those pork rolls. See, I talk about food again, uh, pork rolls. And um, she said, do you want sage and onion stuffing? And it just always, this was like years and years and years ago. And I've, it's always been passed by sage after that, the colour. <laughs> um, but that's where I think I've got beige from. £8.99. These are your neutral, neutral, beautiful extra wide backing fabric. Morning, wonderful team. Managed to get two and a half metre of extra wide navy. Amazing. Perfect to drape behind my headboard. Saves painting the room. <laughs> what happens to the, uh, why is the headboard knocking the wall? Cutlery, don't get into that. <laughs> don't get into that on a Saturday morning. Very good idea. I tell you what, if, at those sort of price, at these sort of prices, that's what, it's brilliant. You can use, this is why I did suggest using them for the backs of, of quilts and things. Because at that price, it is fantastic, isn't it? You could use it for all sorts. You could make yourself like a blanket to put in the back of a car or in the, in the boot even. Hi, Karen. Or oh, bedding. Bedding, this is good. Um, we haven't got the embroidery hoop behind me, um, I'm afraid, but we're not selling it today. Is it still on the website? Yeah, 
It's on the website, so it comes as a panel. It's really, really lovely. Um, it was with uh, Catherine. It was with Catherine Wright. So if you want to find it on the website, Paul can show you. There it is. If you want to search for it on the website, what do I need to um, search, Cat? When I make, if you just type in when I make. It's called when I make things with my hands, I give with my heart, which is lovely, really, really lovely. So if you do want to get it, it's on the website. It's on the website for you. There it is. £9.99 and you get your panel. Thanks for your message, Karen. That's lovely. Uh, right, let's do the other extra wire backing fabrics, which this time they're crossroads, crossroads, crossroads. Do you remember that song? Blazing Squad, wasn't it? Right, this is going to be ideal for backing um, for backing any of your... Um, was it an original? Was there an original? Oh, I didn't realise it was a cover. £8.99. What are you thinking of doing with this? Metallic thread. Following some of these lines. Not all of them, but just doing some quilting across. That would be am amazing. And remaking the fabric into something completely different. A bag out of this, a nice black bag, it's always useful, isn't it? Or a dress, this would be really, really nice. Uh, of course, even though it is classed as, you know, quilting backing fabric, it's still no lesser quality. It's 100% cotton, 100% cotton, it's really lovely and soft. It would be structured, obviously, if you're, if you're, um, if you are, if you are dressmaking with it, it'd be more structured. But um, that's lovely, isn't it? Endless game of noughts and crosses on this ball saying. It is very, very wide. It's exactly the same width as the other one again. It's 280 centimetres wide, which is 108 inches wide. Hi to all the new customers, by the way. It's lovely to have your company this morning. Happy Halloween, everybody who's uh is anybody doing anything to sort of celebrate? Scary noise in this house. Oh wait, it's just a stomach rumbling. Who's that? Daisy, oh Daisy, yes, I know that feeling. I haven't watched any scary films this year. I did say to um, to Kieran, I said, oh, should we watch a scary film? But we're, neither of us are very good at scary films. I want to watch the new Witches film, the Roald Dahl one, and and Hathaway. I like the originals. I want to watch the new one as well. Is the original really scary? And Hocus Pocus, Hocus Pocus. You can't beat those old old school classics, can you? Um, we've got the green. Do you like horror films? Um, really? Paul said at university I made a horror film called Horoscope. He stars in it as well. We need a copy of this to laugh, don't we? For a laugh, we need a copy of Horoscope. So it's terrible. <gasps> we need to see this. Have we never heard of this? Oh, we need to see it. Please, can you somehow get it onto YouTube or something? Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Do you have it on, v is it on VHS? Yeah, I haven't got a VHS player. Uh, what were you gonna say, sorry, Kat? When Joe first got his first ever tape recorder, you're gonna make a film in the house, a scary film. The Wilcoxes would star in a scary film. I I I'm surprised you haven't done that. Wouldn't it surprise me? <laughs> they had the whole storyboard all sorted and everything, but no, they didn't do it. Uh, this is the green crossroads. Loads of you checking out on this one. 280 centimetres or 108 inches wide. It is gorgeous, gorgeous. We've also got the red option, which let's jump to the red just because I'm looking at the time and it's quarter two already. Uh-oh, what are you uh-ohing? Oh, limited red. I'm not surprised. In fact, especially as we were talking about Christmas yesterday, these would be lovely. It's not too late to get your Christmas makes done. This would be great for your Christmas makes. Christmas sack, it's quite sort of tartan-esque as well, isn't it? I'd put this with those tartan fat quarters that we've got. They're lovely. Eight pounds, 99, a half meter. Now you can still buy more multiple units for Christmas sacks. What about doing a really, really big Christmas stocking? What would you think? What about putting like some furry trim on the top? Pom-poms. Just a lovely table runner. That'd be amazing. You don't need to do too much to it either. 
eight pounds 99 a half meter right do you know what it's quarter nine and i haven't even done a trick or treat yet and we've got loads to get through today so sorry cat sorry cat so i don't need to do a spell out of the cauldron because it's a nice little treat no tricks oh just a treat so um, today, uh, the shows that I'm on my own, so this hour and uh, 10 o'clock, do make sure you stay with me because I'm going to be doing some trick or treat prizes. So can I pick any of these or any of them? Uh, they're all just random treats. Are you ready? Let's have a look. We'll look together, in fact. Are you ready? So... Gutemann sole threads and bobbin clips. And we're going to do a saving on this. So, right, Kat, have you got these here somewhere? Because I have no idea what they were. This is what they look like. Oh, yes, the one with the bobbin makes. Oh, these are brilliant. Oh, found it. Thank you, Kat. Kat's got these all sorted. I have no idea what these treats are, by the way. This is so exciting. And you're saving four pounds as a special Halloween treat. So, have we got graphics for them or will they appear on the web? Oh no, this is brilliant. So let's do them then. You're getting all your 50 weight threads for 14.99, 14.99. That's £1.49 a spool, not including your bobbin mates. So you've got all of those. When do you see Guterman for that sort of price? Normally you're looking between sort of 170 and two pounds individual spools. And these are all lovely colors. And what I love about these is that you can wind your bobbins and you can put the bobbin are these open? Yeah, I'll show you. So, if I've got a bobbin. Oh, yeah, I've got one there. So, if you've got your spool, saving £4 as well today, which is absolutely brilliant. They're a great price anyway. So, if you imagine you pop your spool in like that, and they're like little prongs at the bottom. Tuck those in. That goes like this. And then, if you've got your bobbin. Oh, no. Put your bobbin on. Put your bobbin on. No. <laughs> push that on all the way it goes all the way and then you can have your matching bobbin and thread I haven't got the matching bobbin but do you know what I mean you put your matching bobbin and thread ready to go like that um, which is great isn't it so then if you are starting a new project you've got them all there together this is your first Halloween treat of the day so remember you get all of those Guterman threads 100% polyester 50 weight sew all threads what was that? No. Oh, I don't like that. Do you? How, where have you got that from? That's why he's got the Hollywood moves. This is the sort of things that we can look forward to in Horoscope, the film that that Paul's um, that Paul's done. At fourteen ninety nine. Oh, they're lovely colour palette as well. Really lovely colour palette. At £14.99, saving of £4. Saving your post and packaging today. That means then you've opened your order. Brilliant. We'll be doing another Halloween treat before nine o'clock. So stay tuned. Oh, I love that one. Right. Let's do some one metre bundles. We've got some gorgeous fabrics. Which ones do you want to do? Whichever ones I want to do. Let's do Tilda. Tilda. These are the Tilda, like Tilda Paisley. They're called Tilda Teardrops. But it is like Tilda's version of Paisley prints. They're beautiful. You're getting half a metre of this beautiful designer print. And then we've teamed it with Ivory, which goes absolutely beautifully. So £18, 49 pence, half a metre of your Tilda, which let's open this up. In fact, I'm... Um, do you get, that's half a metre. Hang on, it's got to be a metre, hasn't it? I think you get a metre of each of these, you know. I think you could get a metre of each. It says on the graphics a metre of each, so there you go. You get a metre of each. Um, we've just been sent half a metre. So you get a metre of your tilde and a metre of um, ivory as well. £18.49 pence for two metres of fabric. Remember, a whole metre of... Um, of Tilda, which is brilliant, just eighteen forty nine. Uh, we've also got the um, bright pink. 
And the autumnal, I love this, it's called Enchanted Garden and it's so beautiful with your little hedgehogs and snails. Very autumnal, isn't it? Just £9.48, so this is half a metre and half a metre. Half a metre of each, oh they're lovely, this would be a lovely bag. This would be a really, really lovely bag bundle. If you've got a pattern in mind, if you're working from a book or you're looking through and getting some inspiration from some of the books that you've got, or have a look on the web. If you haven't got any of our, um, you know, any of the Annie's Quilting books, any of the Debbie Shaw bag books, the uh, Bag Making for Beginners is a good one as well. There's loads of great books that we've got on the website. Okay, let's go for the stars, please, Cat. One and a half metres, they're poplin weight cotton, so slightly lighter weight cotton. But I just think they're so lovely and cheerful. Really nice and bright. Sunshine yellow, lovely bright pink. And that gorgeous, gorgeous bright red as well. £10.99. Half a metre, half a metre of red. Half a metre of pink and half a metre of yellow. They're so beautifully soft. Are they? Oh my word, breaking news from Paul. Harry Potter's all going on to Netflix in November. Gosh, is it Netflix UK? That's good. I love Harry Potter, don't you? Um, Kat's now reciting all of the spells from Harry Potter. Very in keep with Halloween. Did you go as a Hermione one Halloween? No, it's not. Have you got really curly hair, naturally? Or like curly waves? She says, my hair is very Hermione, naturally. But Kat's always got lovely, sleek hair. You've got quite, quite Hermione hair, actually, haven't you, Paul? Next, next bundle, I know that you'll like this one. The light like newspaper advert. This is really, really cool. I'm thinking bags. Do you know what it reminds me of? Um, Tim Holtz, designer fabric. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we've got half a metre of each of your fabrics, just eight pounds ninety nine a half metre. Uh, sorry for for the metre. These would be great. It would be a lovely messenger bag, actually, wouldn't it? This would be really really nice, or a cushion, any of your soft furnishings. It'd be really really nice as well for uh, with the crossroads. I'm thinking with the uh, black background, a uh, real stark background quite sort of unisex isn't it I'm thinking like laptop cases or university notebook covers and things like that just eight pounds and 99 pence for a whole meter um, let's have a look we're flying through these bundles or oh, we'll do another big bundle because um, the other two were very 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 popular indeed this is the poplin spots so they're slightly lighter weight um, they're really beautifully soft. You can still use them for things like bag making, but you might want to use an interfacing. They're just a slightly lighter weight cotton. So you've got, they're so soft though. They're stunning. They really, really are. You've got half a metre of your um, lemon spot, half a metre of your peach spot, half a metre of like a raspberry pe um, pink, it's called cerise spot, half a metre of purple and half a metre of red. 18 pounds. And 99 pence. I know it is going to be busy, so do just make sure you're checking out and coming through and having a look what's on the website. Even if Kate, Kat, Kate? Why do I call you Kate? Who's Kate? I've never called you Kate. Paul <laughs> said, You're not supposed to tell Kat that Kate's coming in to replace her. Um, Cat, even if Cat takes the graphics out, don't worry because they're all there on the website or you can always speak to our customer service team. So if something goes off your screen and you're thinking, do you know what, I was scrambling around looking for my phone or doing something else, don't worry, you can always come back later and have a look on the web. Um, but I would say don't miss these prices because they are very, 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 very good. £18.99. pence. Okay. Um, let's do a couple more. Let's do a couple more. We've got, oh, this is really fun. This is called Rockpool. See Rockpool. They've matched these colours perfectly. Oh, this lovely jade is literally the same as the crabs and the jellyfish. 
and the rose is really 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 gorgeous with the um, sea urchins just £12.99 for three half metres this time, remember? There's a metre and a half. Uh, going into baskets straight away, do make sure you're checking out. These would be really, really lovely for, um, I, I'm thinking like toiletry bags and storage bags. Maybe even the, um, you know, the bags that we did with Wendy the other day, if you've got the pattern of how to do those circular tube bags, these are perfect. Just 12 pounds, 99 pence for a metre and a half. I think I've got a couple more that I just want to squeeze in. This one's a lovely pink. Um, is this Liberty? Yep. Yep. It is half a metre of Liberty. Oh, what about some lovely bunting, like a string of hearts? This would be so pretty. I've done some face coverings with um, a different colourway of this print, but it looks lovely. You could have some really, really fancy, fancy bits and bulbs. Cushions. Remember, half a metre is two fat quarters. So if you want to do some big Liberty cushions, how much does it cost for a Liberty cushion pool? You could have this is the back as well. So you're not, you know, just have that Liberty front. 10.49 in just a simple envelope back. And you've got some really gorgeous, gorgeous cushions. Okay, I've got one more bundle. And I think we've got three of them, you know. Oh no, two more. I'll be very, very quick. This one is, it reminds me of a um, facet on a diamond. It's called Gradient. I think this came from like um, one of the gemstone-y precious metal quilts that we did. It's really, really nice. And it's got a little bit of a, um, a mottle effect. Multiples are going. Lots of people are getting involved and in purchasing multiples. Remember, if you are multi-buying, they come as uh, half metre pre-cuts. So if you are buying two units of this, you'll get two half metres of the red and you'll get two half metres of the blue, but they'll already come pre-cut um, so we've got the red and the teal which look lovely and then the last bundle is this one which is now right I know that John Scott says that this isn't teal to him what colour is it because I, I I'd say it is like a maybe a petrol blue I do I would say that it's quite teal <laughs> like a peacock what do you think and it's with moda moda what beautiful fabrics. That's the first time I've seen that Moda print. That is really, really nice. Half a metre of Moda, half a metre of teal uh, for £10.49. 0800 if you do want to speak to our lovely customer service team or jump in on the web. Check out, check out, check out. Um, the green crossroads fabric, is it, is it sold out? It's not coming up on the website. Uh, let me tell you the item code number. Uh, the code there is B H Y no B R Y H ten. Sorry, I, I don't know why my um, <laughs> words struggle with the words with the letters this early in the morning. Thank you for making us aware. Thank you for making us aware. I'm not sure why it's not appearing, but if you do want to speak to the uh, customer service team or search the code, you should find it. Plenty of stock of the green crossroads. Don't worry. Lorraine is saying French Navy, I'm going to call that, French Navy. I know what you mean, I, French Navy, it reminds me of another paint shop colour. I think they call it French Navy, that sort of tealy, peacocky blue. Right, I've got time to stick in one more treat. Let's do it, come on, let's do it. So, keep your eyes peeled, don't forget it at the 10 o'clock show as well. I'm digging deep. Du -du 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 -du. Let's go this one. Ah, right. It is the Elna 550 sewing machine with freebies. Yes, that is a good one. Right, hang on. What freebies do we get? We all love the 550. We've been talking about this over the last... Um, <gasps> you get loads. This is crazy. Right, talk me through, Kat, because this is absolutely amazing. In fact, we can show you what we're getting as Kat... Has you little sneaky sneak, aren't you? You've prepared all this this morning, nice and early. So you're going to get with the Anna 550. Obviously, the Anna 550 comes with an extension table, comes with the the, the two year guarantee. It's a brilliant machine that you'll see, in fact, um, Alison using in the next hour. Gosh, this is good. She's bringing out all the goodies to me. This is very, very exciting. Um, goodies worth over thirty pounds. So you're going to get some pre-cut five inch squares. 
you're also going to get <laughs> this is so exciting i love halloween so oh this is the um l on a 550 by the way so any of you get this oh no they're not are they uh, those of you that get the uh the l on a 550 if you um get it on split pay it's for a fantastic deal. It's the only machine that we currently stock under 500 pounds, so it is brilliant. And let's have a look at the freebies, all about the freebies. So you're getting uh, one meter of piping cord, bias binding in fuchsia and in red, come in handy for the next project. Chocolate and gingham ribbon. You're also gonna get, I've never even seen this, the Colour Me In Halloween panel. This is so lovely. Colour Me In panel. <gasps> Look at all these. Oh, you'll have so much fun. Oh, I want one of these. You also get that for free. Today you're gonna also get a cream concealed zip. Essentials cotton webbing, one metre, bag makers. <gasps> Knitted and elastic, nice chunky elastic, one metre. This is like gold dust, isn't it? You're also getting uh, 10 centimetre pre-cuts. And look, they're beautiful. I mean, they could be the rainbow or from the Tilda. Oh, no, you're going to get both. Rainbow and Tilda Fun Garden range. So you're going to get those as well. A tape measure. You also get, pardon? Black, um, <laughs> this is from Paul's personal stash. This is black thonging, <laughs> black cord. You then also get quilters tape, fabric grips. Oh no, they're on the picture though, aren't they? They're not in the description, they're on the picture though. Right. Fingers crossed you'll get the quilters tape and the, the fabric grips as well. But you'll get all of that and, of course, your amazing machine. 166 pounds and 33 pence on split pay with goodies only for today. So have a serious think about it. If you were one thinking, oh, should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I? Today is the day to do it. Today is the day with all of those trick-or-treat treats. Okay, that's a great one. Oh, I'm pleased. I'm really pleased with that. And the, the, I mean, the Gutemann thread was brilliant as well. Grab what you can. So the next hour, we are going to be looking at, oh, some brand new gorgeous kits from the amazing Alison Marion. Get all of your messages in for her. We'd like to have her back in the studio. But also I was going to say, have a look on pre-order on the next couple of minutes because they're there and they're already selling. So do make the most of the kits. They're going to be gorgeous. We'll see you with Alison right after this. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Hi there, my name's Alison Marion and I'm thrilled to be joining the Sewing Street family. I live in Staffordshire where I run a couple of sewing groups and I have a passion for vintage sewing machines and also a plique. I've stitched in some form for as long as I can remember, but I absolutely love teaching and helping people stretch their skills and hopefully demystifying some of the techniques that can be quite daunting for beginners. So I'm looking forward to meeting the team and getting into the studio. See you soon. We are so excited for the launch of Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn. We'll be bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as all the latest tools and gadgets. Watch our launch show on Monday the 2nd of November at 12pm on Freeview Channel 74, Sky Channel 670 or our YouTube channel when Helen from Woolly Chic will be teaching you how to crochet. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Yarn Lane TV and subscribe to our email newsletter to keep up to date with what's coming up. Hello, my name's Fiona Hesford and I'm founder of Sew Girl. I'm based down in Worthing on the south coast of England. 
And I've got a range of sewing patterns, which I've developed over the last few years, which are projects for loose fitting clothing, everyday, simple garments, things that I really love to wear myself. And I'm going to be bringing you them to Sewing Street over the next few months. So I look forward to seeing you then. Bye. Hi, I'm Helen from Woolly Chic. I design knitting and crochet patterns and I also teach crochet in Hitchin, Hertfordshire, where I live. My mum taught me to knit and crochet when I was a teenager, but it wasn't until my children were little that I picked up a crochet hook again and literally became hooked. And I haven't stopped crocheting and now knitting uh, ever since. I began designing about eight years ago and started selling my patterns as part of kits, putting together my designs with British wool, some of which comes from my family's sheep farmed in Pembrokeshire, Wales. I love the fact that with a simple fibre like wool, you can create something really beautiful and unique. Uh, like garments or handmade accessories, um, cushions, blankets, yeah, the possibilities are limitless. Um, I'm also passionate about teaching crochet and passing on the skills that I have learnt. I'm really looking forward to being part of Yarn Lane TV and sharing some tips and tricks with you and I really hope that you enjoy watching. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break. Uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well. And then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing, and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it. So now I always measure twice, cut once. Anyway, I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Welcome back, welcome back. Hello everybody who hasn't yet um, been watching this morning. We've got a brilliant, brilliant lineup and well done to everybody who has already checked out on the Elna 550. Um, that was one of the trick or treats today. And it wasn't actually a trick, it was a really special treat. Not only did you get, obviously, the machine, of course, with all of its incredible extras anyway, there was also the most amazing bundle. Um, I say it was worth about 30 pounds, but actually seemed more than that. You got loads and loads and loads of goodies, so it's definitely worth having a bit of a look on the website and if you're thinking about getting the 550 Alison's going to be using it today but um, you get all of these goodies which are amazing absolutely amazing so definitely worth making the most of that now this hour first of all before we start going through these Alison it is so good to have you back are you all right? You well? Yes, thank good, you. Good, yeah. good. Taking the tablets. Oh, good. We'll have a good chat to Alison, but honestly, it's just so <laughs> lovely to have her back in the studio. Uh, so we will um, we will go through all of these kits, and this is a brand new project. This is a brand new make. So you're getting your full instructions from Alison Marion, um, and I should show you really the bag on the, uh, the when we're modelling them. Kat was modelling them early and earlier on for us. Look at it it's amazing so this is what we're making and it's absolutely adorable it really really is with the dash and you're also getting um, 
the option to do the cat as well. So it's either cat or dog. So you have all of your instructions that come with each bundle. Shall we do the mustard one first? Because this is the one um, that I believe you saw earlier on. So are these ones the no we've also got the gray so i'm doing the uh the black and mustard one first cat and um, we'll talk to alison about working with pu for anybody who hasn't yet had the chance of working with pu any sort of um sort of things that you might be scared about get any messages in and we can ask alison how to, to to cope with them and how to deal with them but um i mean it is a really beautiful bag isn't it so you have your instructions you also have one meter of school gray, half a meter of mustard, which is your PU, and it's really, really wide, and then a fat quarter of black PU. Now, because it's extra wide, they are absolutely huge. Let me show you, for example, the, the fat quarter. It's a big fat quarter. Uh, it's half your half meter, so you're also getting loads of your mustard. And then uh, the webbing, which you'll see, Alison will explain in a moment, but it's actually, when you see the back of it, it's an extension of the tail goes into the strap. So you've got your black webbing to go with as well. All for $27.99 and loads of you have already che started checking out. Look, can you see? Oh, well, you can't see because um, Kat's got her elbow there. But the tail then goes all the way around to be the strap. Absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. Little Dashen, so cute. Just $27.99. Half the stock's already gone. Half the stock already gone, just so you know. Everybody's dashing in for that one. Uh, we also have the other option, which has got the grey this time. So you've got grey and black with the metre of mustard lining. So this isn't a PU. This is a, a cotton, which is in beautiful, beautiful gold. It's 100% cotton, gold colourway. <laughs> just so you know. On the, on the um, description, it says that you get Alison Marion. You don't. She's all ours. You get her instructions, but Alison's ours, I'm afraid. Uh, you also get half a metre of grey PU, and it's really lovely and wide. And it's ever so soft, I must say. It's really lovely and soft. Fat quarter of black PU, and then you also get your webbing. Um, so you get the black webbing with this one. And your full instructions, a lovely roomy tote bag with um, useful pockets to organise your essentials this is a great it's quite like we were saying this earlier on it's it's one of those bags you just chuck everything in put on your shoulder a nice slouchy sort of tote bag and very very practical with all those the, the lovely pockets uh, so you've got that as an option of a, a kit as well now cat I'm gonna just tell you now I should have said this before the show is there any way that we can change this to a black strap because Alison was saying it needs to be the extension of the tail Okay, we'll speak to the team and see what we can do. So, at the moment, this is the kit that comes with a metre of your blue, metre of your blue. You're then also getting half a metre of taupe, is it? Is it called taupe? It's yeah. so lovely. Yeah, love that. You're then getting a fat quarter of your black. And then at the moment, we've got the, um, the teal blue cotton webbing. Um, we'll see what we can do and see if we, we can, if we can swap it out. It's £29.44 for that one. Sorry, it will also be £27.99, so don't worry. It will also be £27.99. You'll pay £27.99 for that one. Okay, so let's just I give you a reminder. You haven't seen the cat one yet. It isn't just the dog that you can make. Remember, with, the, um, with of course, the instructions, you get the option of doing whether you, the cat or the dog is very very exciting uh, we haven't got a picture of the cat one there have we um, you've got the dog and we'll show Alison's got the cat one live so there's the uh, the cat one live that Alison's working front. with today that's the front oh this is amazing it's so lovely to have you back with us Alison. thank you very much just glad to be back oh good <laughs> and live in the studio it's not the same no it's here. not it's not so nice when you're here doing the video on your own <laughs> oh, but great to have you thank and you. loving your halloween top oh thank you very much <laughs> happy halloween happy halloween and thank you for our lovely cakes oh that's all right it brings us lots of treats <laughs> So, um, we haven't seen this pattern yet, have we? No, and there's not a, pa a picture of the cat one because I'm going to demo that one. Um, but what I will say, I'm not sure whether the PU is available by the half metre on the website, website yeah. because you can actually get all of the applique pieces out of the fat quarter of the black. 
Oh, so you could make... So you could make a cat and a dog if you bought the extra PU webbing and lining. And you would only need, you know, half a metre of PU, a yes, metre of what's, your yeah, cotton yeah. and your webbing. Yeah. So, yeah, there's not too much to add yeah. in, actually. Yeah. It seems strange that you need more of the lining than you do of the outside, but you've got a lot of pockets. OK. Yeah. OK, brilliant. Yeah. So, working with PU, I know, can scare... A lot of people. Is there anything to, to worry about? I would say use a walking foot because okay. if anybody, if if you're a beginner and you don't know what a walking foot is, basically the feed dogs at the bottom of your machine here under your foot plate, they move up and down, grip your fabric and take it through. But with PU, your it can stick a little bit to the underside of your foot. Right. There are options. You can get roller foots and Teflon foots. Yeah. Foots. Feet. <laughs> I've seen someone put um, washi tape as well under Yes, you foot. can do that. Or the um, there's a sellotape to um, like a, a mat tape. You okay. can use that as well. Right. Um, because when we're talking about this normally, it has got a sort of cotton background, hasn't it? So if you right sides together, it's all right. No problem at all. It's You'll see you, that. Okay. Yeah, because when we're assembling the bag, a lot of it, you're done with the right side to right side but obviously when you're top stitching pockets and then the top you're going to be using yeah. the top of the PU so your walking foot actually gives you another set of feed dogs at the top of your fabric so if you're not um, if you're a dressmaker you might not even think of yeah. a, a quilting yeah. foot because that's what they are basically yeah. called isn't it um, it gives you another lot of feed dogs so that your two layers are actually being fed through the machine together right they, they don't slip so, um, a lot of the bigger machines come with a walking foot, don't yeah, they? The 550 yeah. doesn't come with a walking foot, but yeah. you can see Alison's put one yeah, on. There's a so one you, you can, can get one. as an accessory yeah. for it. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. But, Bap. But so you can choose whether you want to do the dog or the cat. You get templates for both. You get templates for both, but as I say, there's enough in the black PU to actually um, do both sets. I've, I've only used one fat quarter for all my demos. Okay. So, and I've got this little bit here because um, before we start I'll just say a couple of things and I've put it in the instructions to read the instructions first because with when you're doing your pattern it's up to you to which way round you want them to do them you can have your cat going the other way this is my Siamese by the oh, way I this is that. Kai he's famous now <laughs> oh, Brilliant. <laughs> that's his silhouette but you must bear in mind that when you cut out your template you're going to draw round but obviously when you put it on the front of your bag it's going to be in going in the opposite direction right so you must make sure that your back end is going in the same direction <laughs> as your front end because the back end actually wraps around to the to the front right and also with a couple of the letters the the m's and w's and o's it doesn't matter but if you're doing the f and the e if you just draw around it with a pen and cut it out, but make sure that that's put on back to front so that when you turn it over, your fabric will be Facing in the, the right way. way. So that's just one thing to be aware of. Brilliant, thank you. I have already done all the appliques on here because it, it's quite time consuming. But what I've done is I've made up a, a little mock-up oh, here. Oh, lovely. Um, so this is our bag and I'm going to put on the pocket. We've got um, an applique to go on the pocket, so if we do that first, now you can use 505 spray, you can use um, the quilter's got a double-sided tape. Right, but you wouldn't use pins, tape. don't pin it. Not for the applique, I wouldn't. I would stick that down. I mean, when you're doing your pockets, when you're actually sewing your pocket, I'll show you on here, you can pin it okay. because you can put your pin in on your stitching line. Right. Or it so that when you take out, the pin it? out, you're actually going to stitch over that ah, hole. Okay. Because yes, it will leave a hole. And also I'm going to use um, clips, hopefully. Yeah, there's yeah. clips behind you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to use clips and you don't want to put those in of an evening, go away, go to bed, come back the next day, um, because they will leave a mark in your, in P your PU. Yeah. So, um, but uh, yeah, you can use a 505 spray, but this is just as, good because you don't need an awful lot you're only holding it in place really so for your applique I'm just going to glue that down and then you're going to stitch close to the edge 
I suppose this is all the way around the outside, is it? So you don't need to worry about doing a blanket stitch or anything. No, like that's that. what's fantastic about PU. It's oh, that's quite slow. Have we got a <laughs> yeah, speed up? Yeah, I'll be here all day. <laughs> um, oh, and I'll put my needle down. Yeah, you don't have to worry at all about it for the pockets or anything like that. They're lovely sparkly nails, aren't they? We <laughs> love our nails. <laughs> Halloween nails. <laughs> Oh no, they're just like everyday nails, aren't they? <laughs> I wish. Oh, I love sparkle. The mustard PU, by the way, is about to sell out. The option with the uh, the mustard PU, remember you do get your templates for uh, whether you want to do it as a dog or as a cat. So, all of your instructions, plus you get fat quarter of your black PU, half a metre of your mustard PU, your grey lining and your webbing, plus your instructions for 27 99 $27.99. Uh, if you have got it in your basket, you need to be careful. It's going to sell out. Right. I'm not going to go all the See, way around. See, that's gone around absolutely fine, though. Nothing was sticking then. You didn't need to be doing any tugging no, no, no. through. No, no, um, no. Let's take those off. I won't go all the way around because it, it, it'll it um, take a little while because I want to show you a, a few things that are quite important when you're um, putting on a pocket. With PU, when you're doing ruler, <coughs> have we got one? Oh, have I taken Haley's uh. decorations <laughs> down? Sorry, Haley. <laughs> Can't go Do you like our set? It's lovely. That's isn't great, it? isn't yeah. it? Haley's done a grand job. <laughs> yeah, something that's handy is this tool here because when you turn over a PU, you get quite a rounded finish on the top. Yeah, it's quite thick, isn't and it? And although you can press it, I would say you can press it, but on the back, okay. with a very low iron and also um, a pressing cloth. Okay, you need yeah. to use a pre pressing cloth because basically it's plastic, isn't it? Yeah. So, so I'm going to take a half inch. Can you just put a bit turn. of cotton over the top, or what sort of pressing cloth do you use, or a towel? Well, um, a towel it would be a bit thick. I have I brought mine with me. I don't think I have. I've left it. I, it's only a piece of um, piece plain of cotton. Plain oh. cotton. Yeah, yeah, I haven't. Yeah. Oh yes, I have. There we are. There you go, yeah. So you would just lay that over the top mm -hmm. from the back and then just time and yeah. a low iron. Yeah. Don't try and do it hot and, and quickly. Yeah, you need to do it a, hot, um, a long time with a low iron. Okay. So that, that works. Where are we? We're so at the top. So you're using the Hera marker? I am, yes, because we want to have a nice fold. So I'm going to do a half inch. All the seam allowance is a half an inch. So I'm going to take the half inch. Are we in the right place? We are. And I'm just going to mark. Not too heavy a pressure. And you can see now that there's a mark just along the top there. It makes quite I a nice crease, doesn't see. it? The hair marker. It does, yeah. And then you don't actually have to pin it or oh, clip it because it's turned over and you've got a nice edge there. So I'll just do that across the top. And are you using, you know when you, I'm just going back to when you did your applique, but would you use a contrasting thread or um, match it in? No, because um, it will show, when you're going round, I don't do free motion on this sort of thing. You could do, but when you're going round, you, you have to lift up your presser foot and turn it like I was doing there and turn it a little bit on the tight corners. Curves you can turn, slowly yeah but uh, it, it can look a bit notchy if you don't okay. get it quite right I'll show you on this one <laughs> so there we go there we are so that's the top so that's turned over nicely mm -hmm. And this is where you can use your pin. So this is the bag body. Mm, I've got my wrist. <laughs> Looking for your pins. Yeah. I'm going to actually put them in the seam allowance where my stitching's going to be because I'm going to stitch over that. And I'll go down here. It's a lovely quality uh, 
It's, it's, it's not for as you, this. rigid well, as you sort, so of, sort of feel, is it? When, when you look at it on screen, I always feel like it might feel like plasticky and... and no, and it's no, not. it's, it's lovely, really soft, yeah. Really beautifully soft. The PU is lovely quality. Right, so now what we want to do, if I can show you on this one, we need to reinforce the corners of the pockets. If you see up here, yeah. I don't know whether Paul can go in there, there's a little triangle because obviously that's going to take a lot of wear. Yeah. And it's going to pull. So if you've just got one stitch going up there, it's, it's likely to rip. rip. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How do I reinforce it then? Well, we've got this little triangle here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start down. Let's take that little bit of thread off. There. I'm going to start here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go off at an angle. And then I'm going to turn, sew down, and then go all the way around up to here, go across and back down again. Okay. So if I just do that... So that gives you an, a nice extra bit of strength. It looks nice as well. I think it looks. Uh, yeah. It looks professional. It, um, this is all in a different position. To uh, <laughs> it's funny using a different sewing machine. There we go. Right, I'm going to take my pin out now. Something else I will say that I used at home, and that's a leather needle. Okay, um, um, for the whole construction. Yeah, I yeah. mean, I, I didn't change it for the cotton, because you'll find that, I'll show you on this now, with a leather needle, it's actually got more of a chisel, um, and it sort of cuts through rather than punches through. Um, I know they've got them on the website, so... Yeah, we have wanted to leather yeah. needles on the web. I'll show you what's happening with this needle. Paul, he's coming out with all of the the uh, the puns. Oh, is he? What's it? It's just because otherwise, can it look a bit rough? <laughs> Not rough. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. And I've stitched over where I had the pins in. So I'm coming up to the top. I'll go one more. That's it. And you only need about three or four stitches. But it's giving it that little bit of extra reinforcement. And you could slow down, can't you? And yeah. try and do that nice and slowly, even like you like stitch by stitch. Paul said he's got a bone to pick with you, Alison. <laughs> <laughs> right, something else really I like. do when I'm here, if even though I've got a a lock stitch on here. Yeah. Because when you put your lining in, you can't access your, um, your back if you do have any trouble. With these threads, I take them through to the back mm -hmm. with a needle. And tie and them off at the back? Yeah. So they've got, oh, there's one. They've got a lovely big needle there. So all of the threads go through to the back. and then tie off. And then you haven't got the risk of them coming undone and having to dismantle the bag to get to the back. Oh yeah, and it takes a second to do, doesn't it? It's worth it. Yeah, so that's finished there. But if I can get Paul to go in there, because this is a, a normal sewing needle that actually has got quite a sharp point, but it punches through, you can see that it's actually split the top of the PU. Right. You don't yes, get that with a leather needle. Say. Right. So yeah. we need to get some leather needles then. Yeah. We have got some on the website, haven't they we? They are, yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, I yes, did have a look. I should have brought needles. one with me. I didn't think. But uh, yeah, that, so that won't happen with a leather needle. You can see there that I've, um, if I put that down there, is that in the right place? Get my head out of the way. You've got a nice stitch there. We'll see in a second, sorry. Mm. Our cameras keep um, like being all blurry-eyed this morning. <laughs> I think it's the weekend, isn't it? There we go, right. that's better. Thank you. Yeah, so you can see that that's not uh, not done that because because it's more like a knife point and right. it, it actually cuts through rather than pierces it. 
There they are on the website. Two pound oh, forty nine. Yep. Machine needles for leather and vinyls. So you get all of the different sizes yeah. as well. And also, when we come to um, top stitch around the top, we've got a lot of bulk because um, when we do our webbing, the webbing is nice and wide, so that if you've got something heavy on your shoulder, it's nice and comfortable. But obviously, we need it to be the same width as the cat or the dog tail. So we're just taking in for a couple of inches, we're just folding in to make it the width of the tail. Right. And then you're just going to sew there and then leave it all to go back to the two inches. So that's going to be a lot of bulk because you've got your vinyl, you've got your lining, and you've got this as well. Mm -hmm. So having a, a good substantial needle helps. Brilliant. So. Good tip. So that's the pocket on the outside. Um, with the fish, I'll just say with the fish, the um, all of the fish. little. <laughs> this is great, isn't it? All of the little, what is it? The skeleton, I suppose, isn't yeah. it? It's all just stitched straight out and back again. I mean, I, I didn't go right to the edge and then go back down and then right again. It's just basically backwards and forwards. Yeah. So okay. that's. Uh, holding that in place but that does need sticking down because as you do it it'll move. I was going to say did yeah. you use your sew line glue pen again yes, to do that? Yeah, yeah. because uh, they're very narrow pieces and you want them secure when you're sewing yeah. else they will move <laughs> out of the way. So. Don't want wobbly bones. Yes so the the pockets on the internal um, oh, that's a lovely fabric colour, isn't, it? isn't it just yeah they go all the way along the bag so um, you've got all these pockets both sides so mm -hmm. this is the same size as the actual bag itself but the extra in the fabric comes from the pockets because you you've got lovely big pockets there so you're going to um, do your hem at the top Let's turn that off. You've got your hem at the top so you're going to do a double fold you've got your hem at the top and then at the bottom it's an inch up so an inch up from the cut out that we've got this cut out is for our box bottom we'll Kay. do that in a second um, and then we're going to sew this bottom of the pockets down right the way across the full width of the bag this is along the bottom this colorway by the way if everybody checks out the basket then this one sells out they're all very 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 popular I nearly always, I won't say it while the machine's going, I nearly always put my pins in this way because you've got, I've got no hope of going over them then. Oh, that's, yeah, Whereas that's good. I have um, sewn over needles that I put in the other direction. You think, oh, it'll be okay. It's just, it's not worth it. I think it was I with you last time, and I think, uh, no, I don't think it was. When we, um... The, the needle, if you go over a needle and you, one might break your your needle if you go over a pin, but you can then, it can flip back flip and hit you yeah. in the face. It's also really yeah. dangerous. Not only, oh, will you break a needle? It's, it is dangerous. I yeah. Think to break. Right, yeah. so there we are. You can, you can baste the sides, but basically what we're going to do is we're going to mark up. Um, have we got a got a pen behind you if you want to use friction pen in the little tub at the right on the bottom next behind the boo <laughs> i've got one of those um chalk pens that you can change the um oh the lead the they're leads. good aren't they brilliant absolutely brilliant so bearing in mind that you're going to have your half an inch seam allowance there we'll start with our first pocket and i always do a narrow one for pens and things like that and you're going to just and then perhaps you want a notebook, so we'll have another one there. And then leave a good space. It's up to you what you do with your pockets, really. I'll just do those there, look. It's nice to be able to have, um, you know, one of those, like you say, this is one of those bags, because you've got a nice thick strap, that is one you can just chuck everything in yeah. and go, isn't it? So to be able to right. have pockets as well, it's really handy. Right, I'll just put a couple of pins in to hold it in place. Because as I said, I would normally base down this side, but and then I'm going to sew from the bottom because we're also going to reinforce the top of this, this as well. But we're not going to do the triangles. 
you say you're not going to do the triangles this time? No, we're just going to get to the top. And then we're going to just do one stitch backwards and then one to meet again. Oh, that's actually done two, but and then we're going to go back again. So you've just got a few little stitches at the top. And that will be enough to then reinforce those. Yeah. No. Yeah, because it, it's giving, when you're doing that, it's giving it more for the fabric uh -huh. to pull on um, rather than just the one stitch. Shall I just do those pockets? It won't take a second. How are we doing for time? We're all good. We've got about 20 minutes. All oh, right, okay. I'll assemble next. Uh, I know Becky's watching from home today, isn't she? She messaged me in the last hour to say oh, that she's yes, watching. Yes, I she says, saw that. She said it's Hi. lovely to be able to watch from She's um, normally at work, home. you see. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. It was supposed to be a proud mummy day today, wasn't it, Becky? Because was Becky supposed to be here today? She wasn't going to be here, but she's actually written a pattern oh, for a knitting um, roll to keep all your knitting bits and pieces oh, in. Oh, which is perfect for us at the and moment. And she's also designed a panel, but there are issues oh. with the printers, aren't there? So um, there's a bit of a gremlin in the works at the moment. So yeah, uh, we, yeah, I'm, I yeah. think it's been fixed this week. It'll all be sorted. Yeah. So hopefully I'll be doing it on the next show. Oh, brilliant. That would be so exciting. Thanks, Becky. Uh, we had a message from Elizabeth saying, good morning, Vicky and Alison. Enjoying the show. Hi, so lovely to see Alison doing so well, demoing her fab designs. Oh, it's lovely you. to see. Are you thank feeling you. all well, though, after I am, yes, scare? thank you. Yes. It's, um, it was a bit of a shock. Um, <laughs> They're saying, yeah, it was in the gallery. Oh, poor, <laughs> poor cat, cat poor were, were out with me in the car park <laughs> and me having a heart attack. With <laughs> Debbie saying, you've got to phone some." We'll phone someone. I said, no, I'll be all right in a minute. I'll be fine. <sighs> Thank you, Debbie. I wasn't. <laughs> oh. They're like, no, we need to call it ambulance. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. But, oh, but yes, yeah, so I mean. You're feeling all right. Yeah. <laughs> Tests and things. It's discovered that I'm missing an artery. Well. <laughs> Yeah, we say it's, it's 2020, isn't it? This is something that... Is, weird, yeah, You've weird. been missing an artery for... It could have been... 59 years. <laughs> That's all crazy, of a sudden isn't it, it? All of a sudden it decides to give up the ghost. <laughs> but never mind. Things could be worse. No, it's so good to have you back. Thank and you. Looking so well. <laughs> right, there we go. So we've got our pockets. And then we're going to assemble the, the bag... The same for the lining as the outside bag. I'm just going to go down the sides, keeping that in place there. Put a couple of pins. I love that wrist strap. We need to get some of those. We need to do, well, can you make us one? Can oh, we do a pattern yes. where we can make one? Because that's so good, isn't it? I, I did have... Um, Hayley, <laughs> because I use this as well. Hayley, yep, we need these in next, please. And uh, it's it's just such a fantastic thing that you can I just shove in. I put my toiletries in there. I've got one with makeup day. and stuff in. Brilliant. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, we would like one of those, please. Yeah, so that. <laughs> I'll be on the case, Hayley. <laughs> So I've Just got my fabric right side together. Yeah. So the pockets are inside. Just while Alison is sewing, just so you know, this one is incredibly limited. You get your webbing, you also get your... Is it called jade? Jade, it's a lovely colour. Really lovely. You also get your taupe, uh, PU half a metre, and your black fat quarter. Plus, you're getting all of your instructions and all of your templates, whether you want to do it as a cat or a dog design. You can see the cat one being made at the moment, but you could also do it like the picture on the front, the dash end, which is just adorable. The mustard PU is sold out. Um, the other one that's available, the P grey PU, which I absolutely love. I think this is really, really nice. You get the um, gold metre for your lining and then you're getting half a metre of your grey, really lovely grey. I've not seen that grey PU before and it's really, really nice. Plus you're getting your black back quarter and they're all extra wide, 
and you're getting your black webbing. And it's lovely to work with, it really is lovely. I love it. The grey and black bag with the pop of gold inside is just gorgeous, isn't it? Really nice. And your instructions, of course, from Alison. Uh, Twenty-seven ninety-nine. Great price. Oh, we've had a message from Becky. Hi, Hi Rebecca. Morning, morning, Hi, morning. <laughs> she has noticed that she didn't know. She didn't notice that she didn't mention that she stole my Halloween um, top fabric from me and joined the show. Uh, hang on, have you made that then? <laughs> Yeah, Becky was up last week and she brought it to make a dress. Yeah. And I said, oh, no, I've got to have some of that. I'll make a T-shirt. <laughs> the microphone's pulling down the neck. But, yeah, I said, I need a T-shirt for Oh, Halloween. brilliant. Love so it, I, love it, love I it. stole some of her fabric. Thank you. Oh, at least you've had a chance to, you know, wear it this year. Because yeah. I know you, I saw on your yeah. Instagram your picture with the, um, or on Facebook with uh, your wig on. Do you yes. normally have a Halloween party? We, we did, yes. Uh, With the walking foot on, I mean, it's great, isn't it? It's this just is um, going, going through, through it, quite yeah, no chunky problem layers at all. Now. Yeah. So on the outer, outer bag, we're going to sew all the way along the bottom, but on the lining, we're going to leave about eight inches. It's quite a, a big um, bit to leave because you've got a lot of bulk to turn through. When okay. You, when so you turn don't it leave your hole too small because no. you'll be wrestling. None of your little two inches or anything <laughs> like that. You like you would do with. Um, a bit cotton. different to the uh, yeah. reindeer yesterday. Yeah. We could leave like a little yeah. turning gap. So this one we're going all the way along. Whoops. John Scott is in on Tuesday. No? No, when is he in? Is he Monday? Tuesday and Wednesday normally, isn't it? It is normally Tuesday and Wednesday, but I know that he's got prior engagements. I think he's here Thursday and Friday next week. I think he's doing my days because I'm doing... Tuesday, Wednesday, so I think he's here potentially as your Friday next week. I'm sure we'll keep you updated. Friday, is in Friday, Friday next week. Right, the one for the turning, I'm actually doing a little reverse stitch there. It's not too important with these because they're actually going to be sewn back in. But where it's going to be turned through, you don't want that to keep coming undone. So we're going to just do a little back stitch. We're going to sew this up anyway, so it doesn't matter that you're leaving a big, big piece. Right, so then on both of them, I've got all these little ends, look. To make the box corners, you're just going to pull in... <gasps> pull in these corners and you're going to have one, one seam going one way and one seam going the other and that's going to nest them in nicely. Mm -hmm. and I'm just going to sew across. Did you say it's half an inch seam allowance on this? Yeah. This is probably a little more than a half inch. I'm just going with the thing because of the speed I'm it's probably a little more, but I suppose as long as for the ease of telly sewing. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. I mean, it. It's not going to need to um, complete much as long as you, you know, as long as you consistent. keep it consistent. Yeah. yeah, like anything really. If you have a half inch seam on your bag and then a quarter inch seam on your lining, it, lining, it's not going to line up, is it? So yeah. Yeah. So it's keeping it consistent. And then one on the on the other side. So bringing them together again, I've got... I must have pricked my finger. Oh no! No, no please no, no accident! <laughs> <laughs> so that's that one, and then we've got the nice boxed uh, corners on the bottom of the lining. I'm using bobbin roulette here. <gasps> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Down to low bobbin. <laughs> Living on the edge. There we go. I'll turn it out to show you, but we're actually leaving it. Leaving it out. 
It's a lovely size bag, isn't it? It's it is. Bag. It's very roomy. And I was um, thinking of my workshops and things like that, you know, because I have... Um, and my U3A groups and things like that, because you have registers and things like that to mm -hmm. carry and lots of notebooks and things. And when you've got lovely big pockets all the way around the outside. So yeah. that's basically what you've got. And you've got your opening to turn through. But yeah. I'm going to turn it back because that's how we need it to assemble. I'm so going to do the same here. This one, I've actually gone all the way along. Don't need don't to leave this one open. Again. No. So we're going to... Do the same, fold, attach in the seams. Now, because I can't really pin this one comfortably, we'll have a couple of clips. Is that coming Yeah, pull up? it, pull, pull the drawer, that's ah, it. Ah, I need some of these in my sewing room. Oh! Oops! <laughs> <laughs> Don't, Don't pull it that far. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just do that so I don't stand on them. They're durable clips, it's fine. <laughs> that was our trick for the day. Yeah. Kind of tricks, all the treats now. <laughs> Woke everyone up, didn't it, at home? Woke everyone up. There you go. I don't dislike horror films. Paul's saying, oh, I can't believe I don't like horror films. Do you watch horror films, Alison? No. No, I don't. Not at all. Why, why would you want to make yourself no. scared? Becky does. Really? She, when she was at school, she had all the Goosebumps books and things yeah. like that, and she's carried on. Like, I'm going really slowly now because I'm going over several layers because I don't want that. That's it. And again, a little reverse. Yeah, just in the corners to keep the corners nice together. Right. Uh, no, one more. And then that's basically the um, construction finished. It's just assembling the pieces then. Keep it there. But you can see I'm not having any trouble at all um, dealing with this. Um, you know, some PUs are so stiff that you end up, you, it's like having a cardboard box on the end of your Well, you machine. can see how malleable that is. It's really, yeah. really soft, isn't it? It's beautiful. I know Debbie loves working with this. It's so, so beautifully soft. That's it. <laughs> oh, by the way, sorry, we, I should have mentioned... Um, you're going to get teal webbing with this. You are going to get teal webbing. Now, it's up to you. If you do want to do it that it's a continuous, um, you know, black tail like the pattern suggests, you could cover it in black fabric. Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah. Or you you just buy some black web bin and then use this for something else. Or cut one with PU. Yeah, cut one with PU. That's yeah. it. Use it. Cut a strap You've got enough PU. in the um, yeah. in the fat quarters. Yeah. Actually, my first bag that I did, I. Um, I cut the tail out of the black yeah. and then on the other side that didn't have the tail I did in this so I actually had different coloured oh, uh, yeah. handles so you could do that as well. Yeah good idea thank you. So there we go we've got the front front there Oh, lovely. and then we've got the back with the pocket on lovely big pocket and that's just going to sit now Right side to right side, so we've got the pockets inside the lining. So that is now going to go inside. So we'll put those. So you don't need together. to worry about doing the, uh, the straps yet. They no, won't I'm going to do that now. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. that's next. So we're just doing up the side seams. Just lining them because up. Because they're, they're going in with the lining. They're not put on afterwards. Ah, uh, okay. They're going to be put in with the lining. So we've got the one that I said before where we've actually turned in so that it's the same as the tail. That's going to go here. I'm going to have to go down the basement in a minute <laughs> to find some more clips. <laughs> so that one's there, and then we'll fold over and get our strap. 
oh, I always twist this by accident. You've just got to make sure that you keep it ah, right. straight. And then we're going to, so that's five inches from the sewing. So we're five inches from the sewing. So that one's going to go there, making sure that they're the same distance apart. And then that's going to be tucked in. And then you're going to line up the... Got about five um, minutes, Alison. Nearly done. Fab. Fine. Oh, there it is. So then we're just going to line these ones up with the ones on the front, so you don't oh, have that's to good. measure them again. So that's going to go on there. That's it. So we're going to fold that one over and then mm -hmm. flip that one back up so that we've got the Ah, so then the that's bag. not tangled. Yeah. It's not twisted. And that's going to go. There we are, and then that's going to be tucked in there. It's just easier doing it that way than putting them on first and then getting them all caught up with the lining. But if you'd prefer to put them on before you tuck it, tuck it into the lining, that's fine. There, put that one. I suppose once you've got the... Um, pattern and you know what it is that you're going to use it for you can really personalize it to oh, what yeah. you want to use it for like you say right think about your pocket sizes what you're going to put in there you're going to put notebooks or your phone your yeah. keys you could put like little names on it as well you could put like a little color you can do you can really personalize metallic threads yeah. maybe or there's loads you can do something i haven't done what haven't you done i'll explain it when i um when i finished it because okay. we're bit short on time aren't we so yes did you just look at your pin it's cushion to look at the time then yeah because my watch, <laughs> watch is underneath under <laughs> i'm a bit short on time on pin <laughs> it's two pins past one needle <laughs> <laughs> so now we're just going to go all the way around the top obviously again being very careful when you get to your webbing because you're going over the this over is where the, the walking foot really helps you yeah. say Oh, lots of new customers today. It's lovely to have so many new um, new buyers this hour. A lot of people loving, 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 loving this bag. Um, just so you know, the one that Alison's working with is nearing up on selling out. In fact, if everybody checks out the basket, it's sold out with a lot of people missing out. So it's, it's I actually did this cat one because when I did my doggy bags, yeah. um, someone on Facebook said, oh, can't you do something for a cat? Oh, there you go. <laughs> so I said, brilliant. I'm on the case. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> The other colourway, by the way, that we have is with the grey PU. I'm, I'm shocked that we still have any more of these left, actually, because this is a really good, good, good colourway. You get the black web in, the black uh, fat quarter, your grey half metre of PU, and you also then get your metre of gold, which is gorgeous all together. That would look really, really nice. And your instructions. Your graphics are currently live for that, so do make sure you're checking out your baskets as soon as you can. It's $27.99. Lots of people asking about... Um, in fact, actually, I'm not going to say it. Cat's on it, just so you know, if you've been messaging in. Cat's on it. How's your, how's your bobbin roulette going? <laughs> I think I might just do it. <laughs> right, so then we're just going to... This is why you left a, a nice big gap in the bottom, because you're going to turn it through now. Oh, look, you can see the tail. It's really good, doesn't it? <laughs> And then that just tucks inside. But what I've forgotten to do, I'll show you. This. Oh, love that colourway. This is supposed to be a mouse. My Kai is a <laughs> hunter. <laughs> okay. So when I joined up the side seams, mm -hmm. I sewed a few black lines from there to his paw. Yeah. So that it's the cat stopping the 
mouse with his tail. Oh, I love <laughs> so that. So I forgot story, to put yeah. that in, but that uh, that's just a, a few um, rows of stitching along there. Oh, brilliant! But then you'll just yeah. How do you um, that in there? How do I close up the gap in the bottom of my line? You lining? do that with your either by hand or with your sewing machine. Yeah, that fits nicely. That's <laughs> <laughs> you it when the pattern comes together. <laughs> So we'll just turn that in and you can ladder stitch it if you like or just just go over on the sew machine along the bottom. It's at the bottom isn't it right everybody has been messaging in asking for something we can do it Ooh, we can that's do intriguing. it i know just a couple of minutes and we'll just organize a couple of things but bear with us i think we can do it Nice one, Kat. Do you go all the way along? Are you going to no, go all only, the way just, only the, just covering the, yeah, the hole? Yeah, just where the stitches are. Just where the hole is. There we are. Alison fine for us, Kat. Oh, the snips. The snips. Oh, they're fantastic. Did yeah. you not use those before? Well, um, I Sewing used Street? them. No, no, yeah. I was on with John Cole Morgan and I yeah. don't know what. I was doing my crisscross twilt, quilt and there's a yeah. lot of snipping. But of course, you don't have to, not like scissors where you have to physically open them. Yeah, yeah. This, this is lovely because I did my baby quilt and that's a lot of snipping yeah. as well. Yeah. And yeah, they're fabulous. Really I mean, handy. all the gadgets that I've acquired that you think, <laughs> oh, I can do without that. And, you know, when you actually see them being used, you think, yeah, that's really good. <laughs> right. I'd, I'd, have I got time to go around the top? Mm, I Not don't really. think you've no. got time. So what you're going to do is you're going to go around the, the top and just top stitch there. And that holds your lining in place. Yeah. But one thing I will say is when you get to the bit with the tail... Just take it slowly because you've got a lot of bulk there. Okay. So you need to take that quite slowly. And I'll just um, show you a couple of things here that when you're going over bulky seams are handy. You can use these. This is called a hump jumper. Debbie laughed when I called it that. Because a what? It, a hump jumper. A hump jumper. <laughs> I call it like a speed Bump ramp yeah, thing. I, I, I like your name better. I think, <laughs> yeah, hump jumper. Hump jumper. <laughs> I think Hemline call it a bulky sea maid. <laughs> <That's> boring. <laughs> um, but you can also, I mean, these are handy. I mean, you use these for shirt making and for putting buttons on, but that's quite thick. And you put it behind when your um, stuff's on the sewing machine. Let's show you. <laughs> because here you've got your, you've got your um, two layers of PU, you've got your um, cotton and you've got your turned webbing. So what you need to do is to get this underneath to support your foot because what happens, you know when, oh if I show you, I don't, I don't want to sew it because it will ruin the PU. But your foot, when you're going bulky, your foot goes like that. Right. And it means that it's not being caught with the yeah. feed dogs yeah. underneath properly. You've got no pressure on the feed dogs. So that's why you get skip stitches when you go over something bulky. So having something behind, but if you haven't got that, just make yourself something to put behind your, so your yeah. foot so that your foot is the same level as what you're going over. And then hopefully you won't have any skip stitches or... Break, the hump needles. jumpers come with a lot of machines, though, don't they? Actually, and I there was one yesterday yeah. with that embroidery machine. Yeah, yeah. I, I've, awesome. I've, oh, they're amazing, <laughs> weren't they? The Italian eye, the Italian eye was incredible. Yeah. The other one that you were using was the hemline uh, point turner and seam gauge, which is this one. It's nine pound ninety nine, and it is useful for lots of different yeah. things, like point turner as a pokey tool. Yeah, that's brilliant. When if you're doing any shirts and you want, co you're doing your collars and things like that. That's brilliant. And a hump jumper. And a hump jumper. Everybody needs a hump jumper. <laughs> Paul, that's that's <laughs> the line for your dating app. There you go. <laughs> Saw it. Thanks, Alison. <laughs> Should have put that on eHarmony. <laughs> and I've got a hump jumper. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so you're you're going to. Um, Take this and, and top stitch all the way around the outside edge. So then you've got your 
Oh, I and love it. Fat tail coming up. Oh, it's brilliant, it's brilliant. Do you want me to lay it down, Paul? That way, isn't it? So that's your cat. Oh, it's front. real. And that's your cat back. Oh, love it, love it, love it. With all your lovely pockets inside. Brilliant. Absolutely love this pattern. Thank you so, so much. Thank you <laughs> Thank so, you. so much. <laughs> um, the colourway that Alison was working with, ours was comes with the teal strap today, the webbing. But of course, like we said, you can use, you can make what, if you want to do it with the black strap, then you can use the uh, the fat quarter as well. well. You can make them longer. I mean, these are, these are for... On so you can ca well, you shoulder, and they're not too long to use it as a, yeah. a handbag as yeah. well. So it doesn't drag on the floor. Whereas some, if you have them too long, they... Yeah. Yeah, they're too long. So, yeah, they're perfect. Thank you ever so much, Alison. Thank, Thank you very Thank much. You. We'll see you in an hour. Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, are you ready for a bit of a surprise? So many of you have been messaging. And normally, we have to say, I'm, I'm really sorry, everything sort of, we can't, we can't do instructions on their own. They come with the bundles. Today, if you want the instructions on their own, we've been just asking management if we can do it. They're there. 9.99 if you want the instructions on the road. Now, can I use different, if I am thinking, do you know what, I just don't feel confident using PEU. Oh, yeah, canvas. Can I do this with cotton like canvas. canvas and things like that? Yeah, it'd be brilliant with that. Amazing. Yeah. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. So now you can yeah. use your stash. I know there's so many really, really cool cat and dog fabrics out there. Imagine in a lovely tartan fabric or something that would be so beautiful. Really beautiful. So, of course, you get all of your instructions. Don't forget to jot down today's day. You're, it, you're remember it is Halloween um, and you can watch back on YouTube and you get instructions and your templates for whether you want to do cat or dog they're flying by the way they are absolutely flying out if you do want instructions on their own you can thank Kat for that she says I had to it's my name isn't it I had to go that one further to try and get um to try and get these for you they are the exclusive Alice and Mary instructions exclusive to us um, for just £9.99 cat or dog tote bag. And we love, love, loved that. Beautiful um, pockets, really, really useful. And um, looks great with PU, I honestly think. After seeing the demo, I have a go with PU because it looks great. But also, now's your chance to experiment with lots of your fabrics that you've already got in your stash. Go for it. Uh, the bundle with the dark grey is still available with the PU, the dark grey PU. Um, you can see there at the side of the screen, it's twenty-seven ninety-nine, and it comes with a meter of gold. It comes with your instructions. It also comes with a fat quarter of your black PU, uh, half a meter of your grey uh, PU, which is really, really beautiful, um, and also your black webbing. Um, just £9.99 for your instructions on their own though, just £9.99 for your instructions on their own and you do get of course the template so you can reuse them again and again. Uh, right, don't forget to check out over the next few minutes whilst we go to a break. We're about to load Christmas, I love Christmas. We've got so many gorgeous fabrics, we've got great kits, we've got last of stock, we've got loads coming up in the next hour so go grab yourself a hot chocolate or a cup of tea or a nice Bicky or something. I might go and treat myself to a cupcake actually. I'm hungry now. Don't go anywhere. We are back with Christmas right on the other side of this. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw from Sewing Street and these are my five top tips for successful sewing. So number one, always use a good quality thread. A good quality thread will keep your seams stronger and also help to prevent lint building up inside your sewing machine. Tip number two, if your project isn't done quite according to plan, put it down, walk away from it, come back again the next day and you'll probably find that things don't seem half as bad as they did. My tip number three, never throw away your sewing machine manual, always keep it to hand because you're going to find hints and tips, techniques and troubleshooting in that manual, you'll miss it if you lose it. My tip number four is to read your pattern instructions before you even cut out your fabric. Different manufacturers of patterns will give you different instructions, different ways of constructing your garments and different seam allowances. So to have a successful garment you need to follow the instructions precisely. And then tip number five is don't give up. 
every professional sewer sewed their first seam. Every professional quilter quilted their first quilt. Every professional quilter sewed their first line of wonky stitches and had to get out the quick and pick. That's no different to you. So I hope you find these useful. If you want more hints and tips, then why not go to Sewing Street on Channel 74 on Freeview, on Sky 670, and of course we have a YouTube channel where you can catch up on previous demonstrations. We'll see you soon. We are so excited for the launch of Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn. We'll be bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests, as well as all the latest tools and gadgets. Watch our launch show on Monday the 2nd of November at 12pm on Freeview Channel 74, Sky Channel 670 or our YouTube channel, when Helen from Woolly Chic will be teaching you how to crochet. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Yarn Lane TV and subscribe to our email newsletter to keep up to date with what's coming up. Hi, I'm Helen from Woolly Chic. I design knitting and crochet patterns and I also teach crochet in Hitchin, Hertfordshire, where I live. My mum taught me to knit and crochet when I was a teenager but it wasn't until my children were little that I picked up a crochet hook again and literally became hooked and I haven't stopped crocheting and now knitting uh, ever since. I began designing about eight years ago and started selling my patterns as part of kits, putting together my designs with British wool, some of which comes from my family's sheep farmed in Pembrokeshire, Wales. I love the fact that with a simple fibre like wool, you can create something really beautiful and unique, uh, like garments or handmade accessories, um, cushions, blankets. Yeah, the possibilities are limitless. Um, I'm also passionate about teaching crochet and passing on the skills that I have learnt. I'm really looking forward to being part of Yarn Lane TV and sharing some tips and tricks with you and I really hope that you enjoy watching. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Hi there, my name's Alison Marion and I'm thrilled to be joining the Sewing Street family. I live in Staffordshire where I run a couple of sewing groups and I have a passion for vintage sewing machines and also a plique. I've stitched in some form for as long as I can remember but I absolutely love teaching and helping people stretch their skills and hopefully demystifying some of the techniques that can be quite daunting for beginners. So I'm looking forward to meeting the team and getting into the studio. See you soon. Hello, welcome back, welcome back. Congratulations everybody who managed to get the kits or whether you got the instructions on their own. They were very, 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 very popular as predicted. We love those bags and we love having Alison. We do love having Alison. What a lovely way to spend Halloween. Now we're doing a quick pick stop into Christmas for an hour. So I've got my Christmas jumper on, I've got my cup of tea already and we've got loads and loads and loads to do. So um, I know that I, I wasn't great in the first hour, was I, of getting through as much as I should. But remember, Remember, we we're also going to do some more trick-or-treats this hour. In fact, we're going to do more than the, the first hour, so stay tuned. Now, first of all, let's do some Christmas Fat Quarters. This is a great Christmas Fat Quarter pack. £17.99, and look, this is like a beautiful wintry heart with a, a silver, silver metallic. You've also got your snowmen, you've got your polar bears, you've got your lovely um, Christmas trees and snowflakes, you've got your poncettias, you've also got your um, Christmas uh, snowmen with prezzies, 
Look, your little bickies, candy cane, Christmas stockings in two different colourways. These are beautiful. I've never seen these before. Look at that one. Have you seen these? What did we use them for? Have we done a project? What are you going to make? Bunting, advent calendars, Christmas stockings. Oh, I love that. £17.99. That one absolutely is awesome, isn't it? Uh, even if you're thinking, right, I keep, I'm, I'm exactly the same. So we, um, we come into work, we come to work and we're literally like, I want to buy that, I'm going to buy that, I'm going to buy that. End up spending all of our, you know, you just spend up all your money, don't you? Um, we bought uh, the kit yesterday. We want to get the Mummy and Me um, a apron today. Also really want this fat course pack. There's loads of Christmas makes in this hour that I really want. Look at this, I'm being spoiled today. Look, oh, why do you give me the sad face one? It's not sad face, it's Freddie Mercury's moustache. Um, Kat got the uh, shock faced one. Look at him. I love it. That's Alison's made these for us. Halloween. Uh, just so you know, £17.99. You're getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fat quarters. The candy cane one's nice as well, isn't it? Great for loads of makes. £17.99 um, for all of those fat quarters. They're brilliant, aren't they? Okay, last of stock. Let's do some Liberty. Um, they're on the other side of my pumpkin, aren't they? Um, no, hang on. Let me... Uh, um, they're all the way over. Bear with. Hold the line, please, caller. Oh, right, so you've still got the Halloween scary one. Have you not got a, a Christmassy one, please? This time. There's something that's beeping, and I think that it's the cooker. <laughs> oh, look at all of these. So, these are all individual by the half metre. We're going to start with the gold berries. Gold berries. The top one's not technically Liberty. Um, well, it's not Liberty. It's not, not technically Liberty. It's just, it isn't Liberty. But it will look lovely with this one because look, can you see it's that metallic, uh, gorgeous gold with it. Uh, this is one of the most popular prints, actually. Uh, I think it's called, let me see if it says, uh, it's called Wiltshire Shadow, which is a very, very iconic Liberty print, but having it in metallic gold is so, so fun, isn't it? I love that. Liberty print, when you start to do, what about making your very own Liberty Christmas crackers? I'm actually, you know, thinking this year, we're gonna potentially be having a, a lot smaller Christmas, um, you know, the, potentially even just me and Kieran. So what I might do is I might make some real fancy like Liberty crackers or do you know what I mean? You could do some really, really special things. Whereas normally I'd be saying, oh, I can't make for, you know, 10 people or whoever, you know, are coming around for, for Christmas. Whereas these, I'm, I might just do some real nice little luxury bits, 7 49 How about making yourself some Liberty Christmas baubles? £7.49. I wonder how much, if you go to Liberty London, how much the baubles are? I don't know. I have no idea. I'm, I'm, I'm asking you, have you been? Oh, gold metallic thread, some lovely gold piping, cord or ribbon. They'd look absolutely beautiful, beautiful. Seven forty nine. I honestly could talk about this fabric for the next twenty minutes of different ideas that we could we could do with this. We haven't got the stock though. It's going to sell out. Um, I've also got some of the other liberties. We've got um, these two, which are the same print, different colours. I've got the red and the blue. Let's do the red first. And what I love is that it's really, really fun. It's not novelty at all. I mean, it's one of the most iconic designer. It says Liberty on the baubles. How cool is this? So it actually says Liberty as well. Can you see it on the baubles? If I spin it round, then you'll see it a bit clearer there. Liberty. You've got your baubles, you've got your Christmas stockings, you've got your prezzies, you've got your candy canes. This is absolutely beautiful. What about making um, some prezzies or even wrapping presents with a, a fat quarter of Liberty fabric? You could cut this in half and you've got two fat quarters. You could make a prezzy bag, couldn't you? You could do some lovely tote bags, gift bags. 
they're just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I'd love to do some big bows with this, some big bows that you put on your wreath. Half a metre of each I would get, half a metre of the red and half a metre of the blue. Uh, and you could have sort of like ears and her stockies, couldn't you? Or two stockings for, um, stockings, not stockies, stockings. What's your favourite Christmas sort of wintry treat? Do you like stollen? Things that you don't eat all year round. You never had stollen? Do you like marzipan? You won't like stollen. <laughs> Doesn't like marzipan. Do you like mince pies? Who's that, sorry? Lisa? Oh, Lisa didn't know. Lisa Lamb didn't know that she had a hump jump in a, a Janome sew machine box. There you go, she found it. Where could I find myself a hump jumper? <laughs> no, I'm not saying that, Paul. <laughs> I'm not saying that. Um, but yeah, have a look in your sewing machine box. You might find that, what Alison Marion was showing us. 749, this is beautiful. And you don't need to worry about directional prints because it's all that sort of scatter feel, isn't it? It's really lovely. Do you prefer the blue or the red? What's your favourite? I love them both. I think I'd get half a metre of each. And then you've got a metre of Liberty fabric. Chris, uh, what about some Christmas cushions? Nice Christmas Liberty cushions that come out each year. I've also got the, uh, the houses one, the little, um, the snowy town. Uh, Paul's main Christmas tradition is he has a lot of cheese and a lot of port. Do you do port and brandy? Do you do brandy? Brandy butter on mince pies. That's the only thing. Do you know what? I'm, I'm, I have no shame that I'm talking about it. We're not even in November yet. We're nearly in November. It's November tomorrow. <laughs> so I just can't wait to be able to eat mince pies with brandy butter. Can't wait. Or Bailey's cream, yum yum yum, flown into basket, seven forty nine and a half meter. You can buy by the half meter if you want to make. What about a Liberty Christmas structured dress? You know, like a lovely. I'm thinking Kerry living in loveliness. She always has beautiful dresses on that she has made for her. You could make yourself a really lovely fancy shirt or dress that you wear um, on Christmas Day. That would be beautiful. We're over allocated on these, by the way. Over allocated. If you've got it in your basket, please do check out so they're the full liberty ones but we've also got the other gold metallic one now this is a great price this is a brilliant price it's not necessarily screaming um it's christmas although we did confirm that we would love a fabric that was um noddy holder screaming it's christmas <laughs> but you know it's not novelty it's it's just really lovely and sparkly it's got that really beautiful subtle uh, but gold metallic it's um 100% cotton. It's not going to scratch off. You can iron on this. I think you'll be absolutely fine. You know some of the uh, the fabrics where I say, oh, be careful with your iron, whereas actually I'm sure you'll be fine to iron this. I don't think you'd lose the glitter. Just do a little sample just to check. Um, just always, I will always recommend that anyway, if you're working with fabrics that you're not quite sure on how they press. Do yourself a little sample. It's only 4 99 a half metre as well. Great price. Speaking of glitter and a bit of sparkle, can we please do the glitter fabrics? Because, right, Kat, I've got a bone to pick with you. So, you stole the stock for our tubs. And you know, these were so, so popular. And so, so popular. I'm coming today, lo and behold, we've got yellow, we've got grey, and I'm like, Kat, you do realise that we had so many people missing out on this a few days ago and she'd taken it, she'd taken the stock. So uh, Wendy Orlando was here literally a couple of days ago and we made these amazing foundation paper piece storage tubs which are great and if you've got the pattern and um, you're wanting some more glitter fabric or I mean for any project these are brilliant. Let's do the yellow first. What surprised me, if I'm being brutally honest, I would never, and I said this on air, I would never have used this fabric before and suggested foundation paper piecing with it or I'd never have seen this um, and, and thought of doing you know any sort of patchwork with it because it has got let me show you the reverse it's got this sort of cotton backing but the front of it definitely has a dressing to give it this lovely glitter now it's not a glitter like you know those annoying Christmas cards or, or well I say annoying 
I love them. I love getting glitter all over my face for days and finding it everywhere. But you know what I mean? Those gift bags that just leave a glitter trail everywhere. This one is not going to leave glitter at all on me. It's, it, it's really lovely. Um, and actually, Wendy Orlando says it behaves itself so well. It sews beautifully and you can press it. Um, she said she actually, and she did it on air, she pressed it from this side because I was like, oh no, don't press it that side, don't press it that side because it's like got a dressing on it. I thought the glitter would just melt. Obviously, give it a test and she did the same. She said, I, at my iron at home, it was no problem. She had the little mini prim iron here and she says, I'm just going to do it really carefully and then she says, you know what, it's absolutely fine. So, from her experience, it's only 3 99 It's really good to know, isn't it? I hadn't seen anybody use it in a project yet. So I thought I love it so much, but I, I was just a bit aware that I thought I don't know how well it's going to press. And it was beautiful. She said it was great to sew with and lots of people messaged in saying how, how lovely this fabric is to sew with. So that's the yellow. Let's do the grey because I, I love these storage tubs. What do you think to these um, cats? Great, aren't they? Hadda's made one for her new, her new bathroom that she's having to keep her loo rolls in. <laughs> But I mean, there were so many ideas coming in. Um, there was, well, Wendy actually um, used it for her st uh, scraps. So when she was like getting little off cuts by a sewing machine, she'd just put them in there and have it as a little scrap tub. Um, you could have it as a Lego tub or all sorts. Anyway, I don't think the um, pattern's in stock anymore. It's completely sold out. We said we we're going to try and get more. But look at this would be beautiful if you just got the pattern for wendy uh, for allison's dog um or cat bag then these are absolutely ideal how about a glittery dash and dog on you know like a plain background <gasps> and can you see it's so sparkly it's what we all need this year isn't it a little bit of bling a little bit of sparkle Oh, I was watching Trini, um, Trini and Susanna Trini on the telly, and she was saying, just wear sparkle. If you're feeling a bit glum, put on a sequin and you'll feel so much better. So uh, I'm, I'm a great believer in, you know, it just makes you feel better, doesn't it? Nice and cheery. Let's do the green, please, next. Now, this is the green with gold glitter. I love the gold. This is really nice. I love the texture. Look at this. And remember, it has got the cotton backing, um, but this time it's got that gold, lovely glitter. For um, I'm thinking for uh, for centerpieces of your uh, Christmas table or placemats. Uh, what was I thinking? I don't know. I don't know what I was trying. I was thinking things, but it wasn't coming out. Have you got any other red extra wide backing fabric? You could applique some trees on, couldn't you? Glittery trees. Then you've got a table cover. That'd be beautiful. Oh, what about for, I'm thinking for, you know, for children to do some lovely, um, I'm thinking about doing um, like Christmas, you could do like little outfits. I would love, I would, do you know what? Forget children, I want like a Christmas cape. I think Princess Hungry Tummy needs to have a, a sparkly cape for Christmas this year. That's me, by the way. One of the uh, ladies messaged in saying, um, yeah, that her daughter calls me Princess Hungry Tummy off the telly. <laughs> it's because I'm always hungry. Not anymore. I've got a cupcake to look forward to. It's only because um, we get up very, very early <laughs> for this show. <laughs> it's too early to eat. I do have my breakfast about seven o'clock. But then by this sort of time, you do get a bit of a rumbly tummy, don't you? Um, Right, this is £3.99 and this is um, solid black cotton. Let me show you the reverse once again. So you've got the solid black cotton on the reverse and then it's also got the gold glitter on at the front, which is so beautifully sparkly, isn't it? Look at that. Have you got some more coffee cat? We call her coffee cat because she honestly drinks about a litre of coffee. Well, not about. She does drink a litre of coffee in the morning. So that's what we call a coffee cat. But this is beautiful, isn't it? 3 99 as well. For crafting projects, this is great. This is really, really lovely. Just £3.99. That is blingalicious. Just be able to have some of this in your stash. This is great, isn't it? 
I'm thinking like headbands or bows to be able to put onto the front of, uh, of wreaths. You could do some lovely. Oh, you could do loads of things. Let me know what you're thinking of making. Oh, that was me. I told you that. So let's do printed panel, this one. This one's a lovely panel. Um, this is lovely. And we did a really, really gorgeous quilt with this, actually. Uh, for anybody who maybe doesn't have the time to do a whole Christmas front quilt, this is a really quick and easy way of doing it because what you can do is you can use some of the other fabrics for borders and sash, uh, borders around and just bind it and you're ready to just go and quilt, really. So this is perfect, isn't it? Um, do you want me to turn it over so you can see it on the, um, on the desk? Let me move my cupcake. Or you could do almost like little wall hangings or, Chris, uh, or, or cushion fronts. These would be nice little um, cushion fronts. Oh, no. So cut these out and use them as, as little, um, little cushions. You've got four different scenes. What did you used to play in the nativity pool? We were talking about it yesterday. As Joe was telling me that he played the Christmas turkey in the nativity one year. <gasps> You had to dye a pair of tights. What colour? They needed to be like mustard yellow, like turkey skin colour. Oh my word! Does anybody have any funny memories of nativity plays at school? You were the angel. Oh my word, I never was able to, I was never picked to be the angel. You had a solo song. Kat said, I wore my mum's wedding dress as the angel. That is brilliant. It was a very 80s wedding dress with full shoulder pads everything. I've seen your mum's wedding dress photos, I think. I've seen, I've seen her, her wedding pictures. You're a wise man. You still are a wise man. I was always the shepherd with uh, an old, like, um, stained tea towel on my head. <laughs> but these are lovely, aren't they? They're, and they're really beautiful quality cotton. Um, I'm guessing that this is from here. Paul says, I was a wise man 34 years ago. We're going back 34 years. We've got some complementing fabrics as well, which will go beautifully with these. There's loads of those in baskets. Um, not too late to start your Christmas makes. Absolutely not too late. We've got the, uh, the red. Now, this looks like it's... Um, been take, it's, it's a photograph that's been taken of lots of beautiful baubles with lights reflecting on them. You know when you, you put your Christmas tree up and you've got baubles and then the, the fairy lights just flicker off them? That's what it reminds me of because you've got these sort of um, bauble shapes. <laughs> £6.99. What would you like to make with these? I think with the complimentary uh, panel as well, actually, this will go really, really well. Half a metre for £6.99. Look, it does remind me of a bit of a, a digital print. It's really nice. We've also got it in blue and in green. I'm going quite quickly. I'm, I apologise, but it's because we've got loads. It's the only hour of Christmas. It's the only hour of Christmas. We've got Alice and Marion coming back in the next hour. We're still doing a little bit Christmassy, aren't we? Don't forget, put it in your basket. You can check out as many times as you like, and you'll only pay one P&P. That's a nice blue. That's like a midnight blue. Oh, wow. Are you thinking Christmas Christmas um, A-line skirt, cat? That would look lovely. You could pick up so many of the different colours to wear, couldn't you? Oh, yeah. That would look really, really pretty. Just £6.99 a half metre. Let me show you what half a metre looks like. 112 wide. <laughs> and then we've also got the green. Just getting half a metre of each and using some of your solids as well with it. It's going to go a really long way. It'll look beautiful because there's lots of colours that you can pick up through, um, through the lights. Oh, yeah. Oh, here we go. Hang on. Here we go. Here's one for you. That's my girl, that's my girl. Half a metre of my glitter and half a metre of this. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, that looks good, doesn't it? What do you think? Glitter and also half a metre of this. Oh, that would look amazing together. 
Are there any of the greens left, by the way? Yes, there is some green glitter left. There is a little bit of green glitter left. Um, but that's beautiful, isn't it? Christmas decorations, these are gorgeous. But even at £6.99, if you know somebody that makes things, if you know somebody that loves fabric and loves sewing, then if you've got a little gift that you've made for somebody or why not wrap it in this? You could make yourself like wine bag, um, reusable bags. Great idea. Just £6.99. Kerry's done some beautiful projects in the past where they're... Um, They've got uh, a space to put all of your things. You know when you're writing your Christmas cards and you've got nice little gel pens and nice pair of scissors and things like that. A lovely pencil case, but a Christmas one where you keep a diary where you keep all of your addresses and things like that for Christmas cards and, and writing down what you've bought. I started my Christmas shopping nice and early this year, actually. I started it really early. Um... Where are we going now? <gasps> Should we do some project boxes? I've got um, Alice and Marion's project boxes. This one um, I did with Rebecca Reed actually, and it was brilliant. It's a beautiful tree skirt. Uh, do you know sometimes when you, if you've got an artificial tree, you'll know, sometimes it can just be quite ugly when it's just the stand, especially if it's bare underneath, no presses at the moment. So it's really nice to be able to have that lovely skirt that you can then personalise with lovely metallic threads. It comes in a beautiful box, um, but you get all of your instructions, you get everything you need, as always packaged so beautifully as it's from Alison Marion. Um, you have the gingerbread man. You have the holly with the gold metallic. Love that, that's lovely. This is a really sort of classic yet grown up Christmas, isn't it? You then also got your uh, lovely uh, metallic gold, no, silver star and your red. Plus, you're getting your wadding in there. So everything that you need to be able to make your gorgeous, gorgeous, jolly holiday piece, uh, Christmas tree skirt. And it's something that you're gonna be able to get out year after year. And I know lots of people have personalized these with like family names on there or putting little um, places where you're gonna keep the presents. So this is for mom and dad, uh, you know what I mean? You can put all of, uh, you can personalize it as you wish, but it is a beautiful idea. If you've got a, 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 an artificial or a, or a real tree, do you have a real tree? No, I don't either. If I'm honest, we live um, right up on the top floor and it's just, it is, becomes very messy <laughs> trying to get them up and down. And I love my big um, artificial tree. It's great. So that's the um, Jolly Holiday Peace Christmas tree. We also have a table runner from Alice and Marison, uh, Marion, which is this one. Christmas tree table runner. Once again, this was demonstrated um, back with myself and Rebe Rebecca Reed. And inside, look at the fabrics, the red and silver star, the silver star on cream. This one's lovely, isn't it? You get enough fabric to be able to, uh, to make the whole table runner and you get your wadding as well included. Lovely, beautifully packaged by Alison and all ready to go. And of course, you get all of your instructions as well. Um, the gingerbread fabric, the one that we just had in the Christmas tree skirt. No, it's not available on its own because it's not from us. Alison has put these kits together. So we don't know. Um, I'm not sure where Alison sourced that from. But it's beautiful, isn't it? It is really, really beautiful. I'm sorry. No, we don't have it. So that's your Christmas tree table runner. I'm, I know that you can't really see as clearly, but it's got... Um, a really, really, really lovely print to it as well. Nice pattern. Everything that you need, your waddings, your fabrics, and your instructions to be able to do your table runner. Uh, let's do some more inspiration, actually, because it's nice to do... Um, oh, okay, let's just do this, because the price is ridiculous. Uh, I think the price is wrong, by the way. You're going to get the Christmas tree stockings. Look at the price. Three pounds. Three pounds saving, three pounds saving. So, you have got all of your techniques, uh, how to put together your basic stocking, and then also how to decorate. So, your projects, your ball ball felt, your snowflake applique, your pom pom cuff, 
You've got little mini ones for on wine glasses, but you could use these, which you'll see in a second, to do as an advent calendar. Your scalloped edge. This is nice, isn't it, with buttons? I like that one. How about this with your Osnaberg? Today's, uh, well, it's not today's early bird, actually. Or your beige. The beige was today's early bird. This is the advent calendar I was saying about. That's so lovely. Still got time to do it. Still got time to do it. There's lots of felt on the website as well. There's lots of felt on the website. We've got a felt bundle, in fact, this hour. We'll do one um, very, very soon. Quilted patchwork. It's four ninety nine. What a brilliant, brilliant book. Loads of ideas of how to think outside the box. Sometimes it's difficult to think of different ideas of how to do a stocking. I love this as well. You'll also have the templates of how to do the big bow, which you could also reuse and put onto um, a, a wreath or on your tree or in your hair. Love it. All of your templates, anything you need, plus your um, your template for the uh, the stocking itself is in the back. Four pounds ninety nine. I mean, it's all about the price. It's lower than the uh, the estimated retail price. Obviously, today it's an early bird special, and it's not an early bird. It's not supposed to be early bird today. It's only four ninety nine. Okay. We've also got time. Yeah, we've got, we can't forget to do this because we've got to do three this hour and it's 25 to already. So it is Halloween. We are going to do some lovely treats for you. So I've got a few more papers to go through, a few more tickets to pick out today. So are you ready? Because I'm going to open it with you. We've already had the Gutemann threads um, with a saving. We've already had the sewing machine with a bundle and now... Ooh, you're getting the Clover Rotary Cutter and three spare blades bundled up with a saving, aye, saving of four pounds, saving of four pounds. Right, Kat's, um, Kat knew about these earlier. These are all a nice little treat for me. She's bringing them out to show me. So you're getting your um, beautiful Clover 45 millimeter rotary blade, which is a great quality blade. Plus then uh, you're also gonna get some refills. It's always nice to be able to cut your designer fabric, isn't it? Um, with a first perfect cut without having to slash into your fabric. <gasps> that is pretty scary, isn't it? Uh, so there you go, four pounds saving at seventeen pounds ninety eight pence. If you're thinking of a gift idea for somebody, uh, it's a really popular rotary cutter, really really popular rotary cutter. If you are looking at getting into foundation paper piecing, you're going to need a spare blade or a separate rotary cutter. I think is handy uh, to cut through your paper, but it is really really handy indeed. Do you know somebody who, um, I know lots of people who say, oh gosh, I'd love to get into that. How do you do it? How do you do it? Um, or, or, or would you do this for me? Would you do this for me? Why not get them a little bundle themselves that they can make it themselves? This is perfect. If you've already used, if you've always used scissors, maybe you're a dressmaker and you've started to see, even on the Great British Sewing Bee, lots of people using rotary cutters. This is a great place to go. £17.98. pence. We sell rotary cutters for more than that on their own. I mean, that's a great price. You're saving four pounds today. I feel like you're getting the, you know, your blades for free. That's a fantastic price. Uh, and they're, of course, these are so easy, and this is Clover, but they work in conjunction. These are your standard 45 millimeter blades. So even if you're thinking, right, actually, I'm gonna give this as a gift, but I'm gonna keep the blades for myself, but I have a um, different brand of, um, of of rotary cutter. If you've got the Ulfa, for example, this will be fine. This will be fine with the uh, the Ulfas. It will fit absolutely fine. Uh, so they're your standard 45 millimeter blades. Brilliant treat. Enjoy, enjoy. Loads of you checking out. Can I remind you as well on the other treats that we've had so far? So we had the Guterman threads with the bobbin mates with another saving this time of four pounds. So you're getting your threads so so affordably um, this is the thread pack that we did earlier on saving four pounds you get your uh, bobbin mates or your bobbin clips alongside it as well 10 spools loads of you are checked out on those for 14.99 always need them don't we We're always going to use our threads so it's definitely worth if you've opened your order already getting the saving and then our mega one of the day is one of my favorite machines this is the elna 550 sewing machine but today 
with loads of goodies. Concealed zip, bias bindings, elastic, tape measure, loads of things for your stash. Some ribbon in there. There's loads and loads and loads. Um, you can get it on split pay today, £166.33 three payments and it's the only machine that we have uh, that we currently have under 500 pounds amazing so please do have a bit of a look at, uh, into that machine if you haven't already we've done loads of demos on it recently in fact majority of the time it's the one that our guest designers will be using on air so have a good look for that should we do another one i'm being i'm being um, daring now being daring let's do another one who wants another tree are you ready I've got two left, so we'll do on them before the end of the hour. So, oh, I had no idea. These are so good. Right. Some of my favourite, favourite fabrics and, and, and design rolls are two and a half inch strips. These are your barley pop, barley pop, barley, 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 barley pop. 80 pieces, saving £10. You're going to get two packs, two packs for less than £70. Oh. Ooh, I told you, no tricks here, just all the treats. £68.98. And, and you're getting the autumn one as well. I love that. My favourite. You're getting the autumn and you're getting the pastels. A saving of £10. Huge saving on that one. That's really good. Bearing in mind you're getting 80 strips here. 82 and a half inch boutique, beautiful barley pops. Uh, I mean, that is fantastic, isn't it? And they are... True quality Hoffman, traditionally dyed in barley, uh, gorgeous colours. They go such a long way. Uh, those of you that have watched any of Wendy Orlando's demonstrations with them, they've been really, really popular. She loves these. £69.98. Remember, only one post in your packaging. That is your trick-or-treat deal for today. The last one will be coming up before the end of the hour. Before the end of the hour. Well done. Okay. Now, this is really cute. I know a lot of people who, you know, if you just want to do nice, small, quick projects, it's two ninety nine. If you've paid your postage and packaging, you could buy one of these for everybody Christmas, buy 10 of them, for example, and that could be loads of lovely little gifts for people to do for Christmas, on Christmas Day, to do a nice little brooch. Am I allowed to open this? I'd really like to make one of these. And it's all with lovely felt, so a nice little hand stitching project. Maybe somebody who is completely new to sewing. You've got everything that you need in there. Your instructions, it's neatly packed. It's ready to go as a gift. You've got all of your, your felt, so you don't need to worry about fraying or things like that. You also get your little um, your pin brooch. You get some little seed beads. You get some um, hand sewing needles. You get your skeins. You get everything that you need in there. And it's two ninety nine. What a really, really lovely little gift. Um, it's a little felt decoration. Now, whether you wear it as a brooch or whether you put it on the tree or whether you have it anywhere, I mean, this is just a really lovely decoration, isn't it? Put it on your handbag. I like that a lot. Uh, make your own little poncettia brooch. It's the first time I've seen it. And it does give you all of the, the very clear instructions as well. Oh, I do love, I love, love, love poncettias. They're the, the Christmas flower, aren't they? Beautiful. Um, so that's only two ninety nine. I mean, it's one of those that if you've already opened your order, just add one of those into your basket because I'm sure you'll they'll be able to be a nice little project to do in front of the television. Uh, let's do some more fabrics. This one is really nice. Um, this is your patches with. It's quite a Scandi feel, actually, isn't it? Do you know? I'd like to do the reindeer with this. The reindeer from yesterday. This would be really, really nice. You've got the little heart, you've got the Christmas trees, you got lolly, no, they're not lollipops, they're Christmas trees. Sorry, I'm getting cake all down me. Um, five pounds, 99 and a half meter. And I love the little buttons, can you see? The detail in this fabric is beautiful. That is lovely. I like this one a lot. Remember, you can buy this by the half metre. It almost has a bit of a three-dimensional feel because can you see this? The way that, um, the way that this has been uh, sort of cross-hatched, can you see it looks three-dimensional? It's, it's actually really wide. 
Uh, normally, when you're looking at quilting cotton, it's um, 112 wide. This is 135 wide. So you've got so much fabric. Just five pounds, 99 and a half metre. But now your chance to buy by the half metre. This would make a really, really, really lovely um, little girl's dress or little um, dungaree set. It's so cute, isn't it? Hi, Lorraine. Oh, that's a really good idea. Um, Lorraine's saying the Ponsetti would be great on the front of a Christmas card. So then if you're sending it as a, a gift for somebody that can go through the letterbox or go through the post, they can then wear it as well. That's a really lovely idea. Just £5.99. Yeah, I, I keep seeing cards recently that have got like bookmarks or different things on them or little brooches and things on the front. So that's really nice. Yeah, good idea, Lorraine. Uh, £5.99 metre, that's your red Christmas patches fabric. Only £5.99. We've also got... Um, Oh, can we do those beautiful, beautiful silver hearts? Uh, is this a bundle cat? So we've got the silver metallic hearts, we've got the gold metallic hearts, and then, oh my word, I think it's French. We're going to need to, um, I think it's French. When, um, when Paul sees it, he can translate to us. Have you uh, watched Emily in Paris, Cat? £4.99. Let me um, just put my hand through here so that you can see that it's got this really lovely silver metallic sheen. That's so beautiful, isn't it? And it's not novelty Christmas. This is just a really nice sort of sparkly winter. It's not all year round, but it's a nice sparkly, almost like a, more of a winter, um, wintry feel to it than Christmas, isn't it? But it is a Christmas... Uh, it's called Christmas Wonders. I love that. We've also got it in the uh, the gold. Even for nice little napkins for your, uh, for your Christmas table. That'd be a really fancy na napkin, um, Cat. You're in charge of doing the Christmas table, aren't you, Cat, at home? So, this one... You're getting gold metallic. Four pounds ninety nine a half meter for your Christmas wonders. And that's really lovely as well, isn't it? I think these would make really beautiful stockings. Or you could make yourself some little bo boxes that you just put a couple of fancy chocolates in. Just take a few. That, that's what it reminds me of. It would just be really lovely as a little box with a ribbon. Um, it'd be really, really pretty. And it'd be more sort of, sort of sustainable, isn't it, as well, when you're starting to think about reusable gift wrapping. Just £4.99. Let's have a look at this writing one. Um, come on, I, I need you, you to translate for me, Paul. Um, this one is silver glitter writing. I'd like you to translate it all for me, Paul. What does it say? What does it say? Come on in, let's have a look. What can we see? Can anybody, everybody at home is probably shouting at the, uh, the television. That's lovely, but it is all metallic. Really, really pretty, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine they were all just naughty words. Uh, four pounds, 99 and a half metre. Your Christmas wonders text on white. We have it in gold as well. <laughs> Our new favourite word, the word of the day is humper jumper. How many times can we try and say that today? I've never ever said it in my life and I've said it about five times today. More so. <laughs> brilliant that's your word of the day today by the way that's the word of the day try and get it in conversation with somebody please at home <laughs> 499 you can just imagine paul in my ear can't you right now uh, this is your gold text and it's still metallic it's still sparkly well like gift tags that'd be lovely for gift tags or ball balls star at the top of the tree 
we're thinking Christmas here, aren't we? What about um, if you're making an angel for the top of the tree and you want to have uh, a, a dress or you have the angel wings with this? But actually, do you know what? This isn't actually Christmassy. It, there's no it might be. It might be a Christmas text. We don't need to worry necessarily about using it for Christmas makes. Bottle bags, this would be lovely. Cover for your laptop or tablet or Kindle. So it looks like a book, doesn't it? Four pounds, 99 and a half metre. There's loads, loads, loads of these. We're loving all the Christmas fabrics today. Do you want to do some more? Um, I've got the panel. I've got the Christmas panel, which is exclusive to us. Now, are these all here ready to go? These are all here, so you don't need to wait two weeks for these. Um, we are limited, though. In fact, it's upside down, isn't it? They're two and a half inch strips. Uh, Alison is going to show you something that you can do with her apron with this panel. So have this in mind. In the next hour, we're going to be talking to Alison about this panel. But it's, I think, the only Christmas panel that we've had. And I must show you, it's huge. You've got 18 coordinating fabric strips here. Um, and you've got all of the reds. Then you've got all of the yellows. It's huge. Bearing in mind a design roll, we all know, can cost up to sort of about £40, or if not more, depending on the designer. And they are 112 wide. These are 140 wide, so you're getting loads of fabric. I'm just going to keep lifting it up. And then you've also got the greens as well. They all complement each other absolutely beautifully. Aren't they lovely? £19.99, there's loads. You can make a really big Christmas sack or, or you know with the stocking book that we had, you could do loads of Christmas, loads of Christmas stockings with this, uh, with this panel. It's exclusive to us. It's all about value for money on that one. You've got such great value for money. Loads of fabric for your money. So the Ponsettias have sold out, but we also have some other nice little um, gifts that we can show you. Um, if you do want to try and make a, a Ponsettia or something similar, felt. Now, yesterday we were talking about doing the reindeers with felt ears, and we didn't have any felt on the show. We said we, we did send you to the website, but this is going to be ideal for, for lots of sort of crafting projects, and you're getting lots of beautiful colours. £9.49. It's that lovely wintry tones as well. You've got like your burgundy, your gold. It'd be a nice little gift for somebody, wouldn't it? Do you know somebody who crafts just as it is like that? 9.49 and it comes with a little ribbon as well. Don't throw that away because that will come in useful for a project as well. But they're all quite big sizes, 10 pieces, all different colours. Lovely quality as well, because look, if I pull this apart, it's not going to break. They're nine inch squares, nine inch squares. And the great thing about um, felt is it doesn't fray. So if you are doing um, any, I, I love toy making with uh, felt. I think it's really, really lovely. Or even just having it for things like eyes and we did the antlers and all sorts like that. It's ideal to get children sewing and just doing a bit of hand sewing with it is, is, is great fun. Nine pounds forty nine pence. Okay, there's lots in the uh, in the Christmas stockings actually that would be ideal for this. We also have some other little kits. So as I said, the Ponsetti is a sold out. I've got the DIY bookmarks. They're cross stitch kits and they are adorable. These would be really really lovely for children as well. You get everything that you need. They're not gnomes. They're snowmen. Or are they gnomes? Oh, they're little gnomes. Oh, yeah, they've got little faces. Look. Oh, they're little gnomes. They're adorable. So, in here, you get... Um, they're 6 by 20 centimetres. And inside, you're getting your skein. You're also getting your fabric and your instructions. You get your chart. Everything to be able to make two, I believe. I'm just trying to read on here. Your county cross stitch um, kit bookmarks. So, yeah, you get two designs. You get both of those designs in there, which is lovely, isn't it? Really lovely. You can keep it in your Christmas recipe book. You can keep it in your nice little Christmas books, story books as well. I know a lot of people who collect cross stitching things as well. Kat's saying, yeah, I've got a friend who collects cross stitching bits and bobs. I know who you're talking about. This would be a nice gift for her. 
this would be really lovely and they're quite quick projects as well you're not committing to do a huge wall sampler um, this would be really really nice to be able to do you know smaller projects 14.99 oh does she collect them i thought you were talking about hattie hattie does lots of cross stitch doesn't she joe's girlfriend oh no our um our friend laura who comes in here and produces um She's got loads of she's got loads of cross stitch projects on the go. Uh, Fourteen ninety nine. Loads of those going into baskets. I also have these, which are little cross stitch gift tags. How personal are these? And this is really quick as well. So it includes the backing tags for your written message as well. So you can still write on these. Um, Two pounds ninety nine. And look, so you get your sort of chart, you get your, um, your your card that you're going to pierce through with your with your thread. You also are getting a little needle, some ribbon to be able to put on, and they're only two ninety nine. That's a great price, isn't it? Um, it makes four gift tags. Kit includes four craft tags with pre-punched holes, four blank tags, instruction sheet threads, ribbon, and a plastic needle as well. That's 75p each, and they're so personal. Someone would keep that. I definitely would keep that. Hang it on the tree then. That's lovely, isn't it? £2.99, so we love that little gift. And then I've also got this. Now, this looks intriguing. Make your own advent calendar from Trimits. Now, I've not seen this before. I've not seen this either. Um, it's a big panel. It's 30 by 46 centimetres. It's four ninety nine. That is crazy. If you are thinking, do you know what? I haven't had time yet to do something, or you know, I'm, I'm spending quite a lot of money on on lots of different projects. This is a brilliant price. If you've already paid your post and packaging of three ninety five, you also get your wooden dowel as well for just four ninety nine. Great price. Love, love, love that. Um, so, what were you going to say, Cat? Four pounds ninety-nine. Make your own advent calendar, um, and I'm presuming you have got. Let's see what this says. You've got your instructions there on the back as well. Oh, lovely! This would be really, really nice to do with the children as well. Maybe t through November can be a little project to be able to do. I know we're obviously spending a lot more time at home. It's nice to do little projects like this, isn't it? £4.99. They're great, aren't they? And I know, look, projects like this can be expensive. I, I thought, oh, do you know what I fancy doing this year? I'm trying to think of different things to do this year. Haven't got Christmas parties and all sorts to go to. So I was thinking um, there was a wreath making workshop that was online and it was £45. And I thought, it's a lot, isn't it? I really would like to. I really would like to do it, and I'm still lemming and ahhing, thinking, "Oh, should I? Should I?" But I thought projects like this, five pounds. You can spend a few hours, and you've got a project which you can then put away and come back out each year. It's lovely, and it's five pounds. You can't. You can't go wrong. Four ninety nine. Should we do the other cross stitch? Do you know we were talking about cards earlier on, and cards that you keep, so cards that might have the poncettia on. This is a cross stitch card. This is a really lovely cross stitch card. Now I'm thinking, look, um, what about if you're thinking, I haven't seen somebody for a long time or um, we've got family who, who live over in Australia and we we're supposed to be going to see them this year. Chances are we're not going to go next year either. So I would love to be able to send them something in the post. And it's expensive to send, you know, big presents or different things abroad. But if there's somebody who lives quite far away or even quite locally, but we're not able to see, it'd be lovely to do something that then they could keep and you can personalise this and write a really lovely letter or lovely message in. So you get everything that you need, including the, em uh, including the envelope, all of your fabric, they do a whole range of different um, different scenes. It's brilliant, but this one is your little gnome, and he's holding a lantern. Isn't it gorgeous? Sixteen pounds ninety nine. You get a pack of three cards in here. Pack of three. Sixteen pounds ninety nine. Okay, we're we ready. We're going to do one more. We're going to do one more. Alison's here, eagerly awaiting in the wings. Uh, so we've still got one ticket ready to do in our treat tub. Da -da -da. Let's have a look. A gradiente fabric bundle. Gradient blender 
at Gradiente. They put me on the end for the uh, for the treat. A gradient blender fabric bundle, five meters, five meters. And wait till you see. Look, you can see you're saving ten pounds. Oh, thank you, Cat. Oh, look at all these. Oh, this is a brilliant treat. This is loads of fabric. Last treat of the day. Don't get me wrong, we've got Alison coming up next, so that's going to be loads and loads of fun. We've got loads coming up in the next hour. But that's five metres of fabric. Five metres of fabric. Half a metre, half a metre, half a metre of each of these prints for just £39.90. There's two different prints. Um, these are the different ones. So this one's got like a lovely little floral sort of cross to it. Uh, half a metre of each of those. What a great price. So this is normally... £49.90 and, and then you're getting these three half metres as well. That is your little treat. I say little treat, £10 saving, that's huge, huge, huge. Over the next few minutes, have a look on the website, check out on anything that you might have missed out on. Check out on these treats as well. There are some last of stock fabrics that we haven't had chance to do yet, but they'll all be on the website in the break. They're really, really beautiful. And what we're gonna do is load the Mummy, uh, the Mum and Me apron set as well. So if you do wanna grab that, if you keep missing out, as I know that sounds like virtually every single time it's on air. So if you do want to get it, make the most of it. We're gonna put it on pre-order and get Alison back on. Don't go anywhere, we will see you in a few minutes from now. We are so excited for the launch of Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn. We'll be bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as all the latest tools and gadgets. Watch our launch show on Monday the 2nd of November at 12pm on Freeview Channel 74, Sky Channel 670 or our YouTube channel when Helen from Woolly Chic will be teaching you how to crochet. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Yarn Lane TV and subscribe to our email newsletter to keep up to date with what's coming up. Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw and as a professional sewer, I really know how important it is to use a high quality thread. Well, you think about it. You spend a lot of money on your sewing machine, you'll spend a lot of money on fabric, and you'll spend a lot of time sewing. So why let your thread let you down? I know a lot of our designers and customers prefer to use Aurifil thread. Now this is a family business. It was established in 1983 and they're based just outside Milan in Italy. They produce superior quality threads for domestic and professional sewers alike. And they've achieved worldwide success with quilters, sewers, embroiderers and textile artists who all appreciate the versatility and the strength of these threads. It's all made from Egyptian cotton, which is grown just at the side of the River Nile, and Aurifil only use the long staple threads, which gives their thread that strength. Each one of these threads goes through 15 steps before it even gets onto a spool, and then comes to you to use in your sewing projects. Now at Sewing Street, we've collaborated with Aurifil, and we've brought you two collections of threads. So we have the Quilters collection, and these are exclusive to Sewing Street. We've done a lot of research with Quilters, and these are the colours that you prefer to use. So we've put a whole collection together for you. The second collection is the Essential collection. So this is for the homemakers, for the bag makers, for the craft sewers, for the dressmakers. And again, these have been proven to be the most popular colours that you're going to use. So if you want your projects to last longer and your seams to be stronger, invest in some quality thread. Hi, I'm Helen from Woolly Chic. I design knitting and crochet patterns and I also teach crochet in Hitchin, Hertfordshire, where I live. My mum taught me to knit and crochet when I was a teenager, but it wasn't until my children were little that I picked up a crochet hook again and literally became hooked and I haven't stopped crocheting and now knitting uh, ever since. I began designing about eight years ago and started selling my patterns as part of kits, putting together my designs with British wool. Some of which comes from my family's sheep, 
farmed in Pembrokeshire, Wales. I love the fact that with a simple fibre like wool, you can create something really beautiful and unique, uh, like garments or handmade accessories, um, cushions, blankets. Yeah, the possibilities are limitless. Um, I'm also passionate about teaching crochet and passing on the skills that I have learnt. I'm really looking forward to being part of Yarn Lane TV and sharing some tips and tricks with you and I really hope that you enjoy watching. Hi there, my name's Alison Marion and I'm thrilled to be joining the Sewing Street family. I live in Staffordshire where I run a couple of sewing groups and I have a passion for vintage sewing machines and also a plique. I've stitched in some form for as long as I can remember but I absolutely love teaching and helping people stretch their skills and hopefully demystifying some of the techniques that can be quite daunting for beginners. So I'm looking forward to meeting the team and getting into the studio. See you soon. Hello, hello, welcome back. That last surprise, by the way, is very, very, very popular. Um, we've had some brilliant trick or treats today. Thanks for all your lovely messages as well. Brilliant to have Alison back with us today. And bringing back one of the most popular makes in our entire history of Sewing Street. Not just one of Alison's most popular makes. This is one of the most popular designs that we always have requests for whenever we have them in. Always very, very popular indeed. We have, um, so it comes so beautifully. All perfectly in a bag, project ready to go with the handle. So you have got in here your cross back apron pattern, which is designed for an adult and kiddies as well. So little kiddies, look, it says kiddies. So you've got uh, all of your instructions, you've got your patterns. It's beautiful. This is Mummy and Me cross back apron, and so many people have got very creative with these decided you know to make lots of different uh, variations of it if you've already got one of these why not get another or think about one for a friend for a gift because they are really quick and easy to sew as well as you will see with Alison today so you get both patterns with this one today you get the the pattern with the egg cracking there you go you can see forget can you please not look at my horrible face like that thank you that's a little bit better i look a bit creepy staring at the camera like that don't i it, this is halloween um you've got the egg cracking one and you're also going to get the Christmas pudding one as well so you do get the uh, the pattern inside for the Christmas pudding and you will also get the uh, you you will also get the egg cracking. So let me show you what the pattern actually looks like. I mean, it's huge, Alison, isn't it? Look at this. So this is what the um, the pattern looks like, which is brilliant. You've got your wooden spoon. You've got all of your applique bits, and you've also got all of your um, all of your patterns for your apron. So it's just good to show you because we've never actually shown that. It's all folded up, obviously, in the bag. Um, and we'll talk through this with Alison as well. I'm just going to lie this down. Um, now, fabric choices. Um, can we start with this? Because this is going to work so, so perfectly well. I mean, you might already have lots of fabric in your stash, so we wanted to do the pattern on its own. But if you do want some fabric to go with this, this, what do you think, is perfect it's gorgeous fabric it's absolutely gorgeous and it's extra wide so it's perfect for this design but look you've got tea herbal tea sugar how do you take your tea with cake and muffins how cool is this paul is saying this is literally one of the best fabrics i've ever seen i love this we absolutely love our cups of tea here don't we we all have our order of how we have our tea um look with sugar this is amazing this is so nice so i will ask alison how much we're going to need with the extra wide a meter you need a meter of this fabric so two units and it's only 4.99 
How good's that? It's only 499 half metre and it's really wide. That would be absolutely perfect for this. Pop two units into your basket. I think this is brand new today, you know. Why does that surprise me? I, sh I should stop um, saying things like this because Kat actually stole it for another show the other day. It was supposed to premiere today. It was supposed to be brand new today, but Kat already had taken it for another show a few days ago. It's the first time I've seen it anyway, and it's brilliant. I love this. It's so lovely. £4.99. Have you ever had a chai tea? Chai tea. It's like um, I've had it's I've had a chai latte before. It's quite spicy, isn't it? We've also then got the corks, the wine corks one. So if you like cooking with a, a little glass of wine with it, um, then this is absolutely ideal. Why not make somebody a personalised apron? I, do you know what? I know so many people <laughs> that would love it with the cork, uh, with the cork uh, fabric as well. I've actually got in my uh, kitchen all of lots of corks that we keep in a box of all like special memory corks this is lovely isn't it these are your vintage beautiful wines uh, vines and wines corks they're all lovely and detailed as well aren't they right now because this one isn't extra wide you're going to need a meter and a half now because it's not directional you'll be absolutely fine with the pattern with this one but just be aware you will need three units to be able to do it. Uh, it's amazing though, isn't it? Vintage wine, Pinot Noir, you've got uh, Pinot Grigio there, vintage wine, 1995. That was a good year, wasn't it, Paul? Uh, there's so many. R Mermaid Merlot, I love that. Just £5.99 for three years. I told you it was a good year. It was the year Cat was born. Hi Beverly, good morning, good morning, good morning. I say good morning. Yeah, it's still morning. Uh, hi, great pattern. I've made, a, I've made about 10 now. I wonder if you're, um, you, you're competing with how many Alison's made now. She says uh, three of them are on their way to New Zealand, two to Sweden. So travelling far and wide. Your patterns are going international. Your, uh, your aprons, how Lovely. amazing is that? Keep <laughs> your messages coming in. Send in any pictures as well. We'd love to see your photographs of you wearing your aprons because I know how much we all love this pattern. Um, so that's the corks. Now, we've also got some other fabrics. The ones that Alison's working with are um, these lovely spots. I've not seen these either before. These are new to me. Um, so we've got the red and we've got the blue. Now, Kat has tried to steal this but hasn't been allowed. So. I think this might be again another new one. This is absolutely beautiful. Five pounds ninety-nine. That's gorgeous, isn't it? You're thinking of it as champagne bubbles. Five pounds ninety-nine. Remember, because as well, let me show you the width. It's a hundred and twelve wide, so you're gonna need a meter and a half of this one. Uh, for the adult size and then you're also going to well actually let's have a look at the uh, the blue first Loads of you are checking out on the patterns. Oh, they're lovely. They're really really great fun to make as well This is going to be our mining cats next project. I think so um, The blue is really lovely as well, isn't it? 599 and a half meter it's great with cotton canvas, we've got some cotton canvases, but if you've got any fabrics in your stash, absolutely go for it. If you want some more beautiful fabrics for any of your projects that you've got in mind, this is lovely. It's only £5.99 and a half metre. Uh, and, and that is a really nice blue, isn't it? It's a nice bright blue. Very nice indeed. Okay. So say in canvas it works really, really well. Uh, we have in the past done them in cotton canvas. Uh, so we've got a couple of our favourite colours from our website, but have a look on the web because there's loads of con canvases. So because this is extra wide, do I need a meter of this then? Brilliant, so two units of the red, red canvas. And it's not, do you know, it's, is this 150 wide? I think it is, you know. I think this is 150 wide, uh, which is really good for 3.99, isn't it? Remember, you'll need, um, oh, in fact, actually, it's 140 wide, Cat saying, so you might need a meter and a half of this then. Three units. I think you need three we units. Brilliant. Oh yes, please. That. Alison's just going to go and grab the pattern. She's coming back. Um, 
just three pounds 99 a half meter and that's for your red we also have the teal <laughs> this is lovely it's like that jazy blue isn't it it's gorgeous three pounds 99 a half meter and we'll work out how much of this you're going to need it's either going to be a meter or a meter and a half you might as well grab a meter and a half anyway and then um it's only 3.99 and then you will have some can you'll have some canvas left over anyway i think it's always best to have a little bit too much um than it is not enough just three pounds 99 a half meter a great addition to this is odor coat Obviously, whether you're baking or you're crafting with children, whether you're sewing, using these in the sewing room, however you're using these, aprons, I mean, they're, they're ideal, aren't they? So using odor coat is going to make it water resistant. It's not making it waterproof, but it means that the water will completely sort of run off it. Brilliant for bags, brilliant for, for aprons like this. It's absolutely ideal. And a tub like this is going to go a really really long way it looks like a pva glue it just looks like a pva glue and you can layer it up and do as many layers as you want and obviously the more layers leave it to dry there's instructions on the back but leave it to dry for a good sort of well i'd leave it overnight it says to leave it for a few hours between each coat um, and then it will get even more sort of water resistant and it doesn't damage your fabric it doesn't change your fabric it leaves it the more layers you do obviously it might make it um obviously a bit shinier but look at how adorable this is so cute so so cute it's 14 pounds 99 and can you see that it's now made it nice and um, shiny shiny uh i'm not sure whether these are different amounts of layers on here in the difference so there's more on the pocket you can't see too much of a difference to be honest but brilliant for the children's one especially saying that I'll oh, definitely need to odor coat mine. I always get very messy when I'm baking or cooking. So that's ideal. And you're not having to faff around with trying to tie anything. It's just straight over the head. No fastenings, no fuss, all ready to go. If you work in a play school, I know people who work with children have absolutely loved these patterns. We've had such amazing feedback. Imagine how many you can make as well out of the extra wide backing fabric. Have a look on the website because there's, lo there's loads of choice on extra white backing fabric on the web. Alison, right, so how are you? All I'm right. fine, thank you. Yes, nice cup of coffee. <laughs> Jolly good. Thank you for the cake. It was delicious. Right. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. So you've got the pattern piece there. Do you think you're going to need... The 10, 12 would be fine. Oh, brilliant. But the, up to the 18, 20, you would need um, one and a half because you would have to fold it in the other direction. If I explain why, this, this pattern you just put on the fold and cut out in one piece. You've just got one piece, the whole thing. Oh, right. So, yeah, you so need it to be wide. If you've got a directional fabric and you want to do it with the thinner, um, it, it's entirely up to you. You might not mind if the pattern goes around, but you have to fold your pattern rather than along the selvage there. You have to fold it that way. Okay. So if you've got a directional fabric, you're going to have your pattern here. I'm with you. So your pattern is going to be going across. So some patterns, it wouldn't matter. But, um, oh no, the wine corks, that doesn't matter, does it? No. No, because that's not there directional. There is no directional. No. But I did think that would be lovely as a pocket with the binding done in it, because yeah. I'm going to show you binding in a minute. Absolutely, yeah, that would be brilliant. Yeah, so, yeah, the smaller size you can get out of this one for one metre, but the, the other sizes you, you would need... larger size, yeah, yeah, a metre and a half. metre and a half. Okay, And Fantastic. it is lovely, because that's what I did that one in. It's exciting so. that lots of people, are, you know, are making these for friends and oh, family it, all over the world. It's really lovely, that? you know. The fact that it came from one that I made some children... And then I thought, oh, I'd like one myself. And, you know, it's just gone from there and it, it's lovely. Do you yeah. wear yours for sewing when you're in your crafting room or, or, or mainly for like cooking? And no, mainly on? around the house. Yeah. Um, but I suppose I should really, because I mean, all the bits and pieces. Yeah, yeah. So that's what you've got. Let me move that out of the yours way. Yours is lovely that you're wearing as well. I like this oh, one. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Gorgeous. It lends itself to so many different fabrics. I mean, this is a denim, so it's... Oh, okay. Uh, but... You can use fabric with a slight stretch as well. You don't have to, it, it's best with a woven. Mm -hmm. um, I particularly didn't put on there just for wovens because this has got a slight stretch. 
Um, so it, it doesn't matter. Um, I mean, I wouldn't do it in a chiffon or anything yeah. like that, but um, it would be okay with most fabrics. Brilliant. Now, this one is the child's largest one. So I've cut that on, on the fold there. And I, I'll, I'll put this one together and just show you quickly how, how, quick, it how quick it is. Because well, how many seams are there? Two. That's it. So Brilliant. what you need to do, you're going to do a French seam, unless you've got an overlocker and you just want to um, overlock it and then um, fold over your seam and then sew that down. But to do a French seam, anyone that hasn't done a French seam, it's where you get um, no raw edges or any finishing. It so sounds like a very couture finishing, but well actually when you show it, it's something we all can that's do, That's right, isn't it? yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put... Now, this is unusual as well for people that haven't done a lot of sewing. You're going to put your first seam as if you've got a finished piece. So you've got the wrong side of your fabric mm -hmm. together. And I'm just going to do a seam. There's a centimetre allowance, so about a half a centimetre. Sorry, I don't know why we've left that tub there. Are we, um, oh, are we yes, in sorry. the way? <laughs> <laughs> and um, it's best to reverse here because it is the main main part of the um, construction. It's got an open toe foot, so it's jamming up a bit. Okay. We had a message in from uh, from uh, Lisa earlier on, and she said, "I found a." She says, "After we said that lots of machines have the humper jump in the, oh she, yes. she went through and found it. Brilliant. And it is an actual. It is an actual name because Mike googled it. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't just made it up. <laughs> oh no, Paul googled it and, and found oh. something else. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. I don't think we want to know that, do we? <laughs> no, no, we don't. <laughs> And all of there your patterns, go. I love they all sort of have a story behind them. I love that you've created them. They've all them. come from somewhere, yes, yeah. that I've, I've, uh, I've done. It's, um, it's just thinking, you know, I like presents for people and I just love it all. So. <laughs> so there we are. We've got our first seam and then we're going to turn it inside out. And, the and we're going to do the same coming, again. Sorry, the knitting roll. Oh, Becky's knitting it? roll is coming. Yes. yes. Yeah. The patterns are here, but um, the issue with the printer, it was uh, yeah. not possible to get it for today. So, uh, yeah. Next time you're here, hopefully. We'll hopefully, have it. yeah. So now we've got a completely enclosed, enclosed seam. Oh, that's better getting that from there. There we are. We've got. A lovely enclosed seam there with no raw edges. Oh, hang on. So that was your French seam? That was the French seam. Oh, wow. I mean, right, yep. let's see it again yeah, on the second one. Yeah, I'll do one. it again. <laughs> so we've got, we've got the raw edges on the right side of the fabric. Yeah. And then we're going to turn that inside and just... I've got that all jumbled, but we'll... Just so so that that raw edge is enclosed. Oh, that's such a great way. And that's it. it. That's, that's the construction way. done. Crazy. That's so <laughs> good. There we are. There's the back. Now the time is taken in the binding. The binding, yeah, yeah. So we're going to. I've got um, the pocket here. I cut out the pocket. There it is. And I thought I'd show you because the binding is what takes the time. Once you've actually constructed it. Mm -hmm. It's the binding that takes the time. So I thought I'd show you on the pocket rather than go. I mean, there is a um, Where is demo. It? <laughs> it's disappeared. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the demo um, I did back along that um, John Cole Morgan challenged me to do the child's apron, bind it Was in it 15, 15 minutes. minutes? Yeah, and, you did and it, it worked. Didn't you? Yes, it worked. <laughs> so now that that's all done and the, the actual um, thing is constructed, we can just do the pocket. And all you're going to do is round the pocket exactly the same round the body. And if I show you, she says, did I bring it? <laughs> <laughs> We've got this Ooh, here. Oh, we're doing a blue behind her. Yeah, I thought this was a bit would be nice. I'll show you um, how to make some binding from a fat quarter because from a fat quarter, I've just done this in the green room while okay. in the break. I've got four and three quarter yards. Oh, brilliant. So there's four and three quarter yards from a fat quarter. Gosh, that's a lot, isn't it? Yeah. But what do you think? So will I need more fabric for my binding then? Yeah. Yeah, so get yeah. some more uh, contrasting colour or whatever yeah. fabric you want for the binding as well. But before you put your binding on, I'll show you that in a and bit. Does so it need to be a bias binding? Yes. Okay. Yeah. But so what you're going to do, have we got the, the screen there? You're going to fold your, because this is a double fold binding, and then we're going to press this down. And to make life easy for yourself, when you press, you want to press so that this, actually, I'm going to turn it around because that's the wrong way on the sewing machine. I'm thinking on the sewing machine. I'm going to be going this way. You're going to press so that your top piece that you're going to sew is a little bit short of what you've got on the underside of your apron okay and then you're guaranteed ca to catch it you haven't yeah. got to worry about whether you've caught the back of your seam oh that's a good this tip on. it helps doesn't it oh sorry <laughs> yeah so once that's done all you need to do is just to go around and bind all the edges with the binding you can pin it down if you want did you use the binding maker to make this? Yeah, or just I'm going to do that in a minute. I'm going to right. show you how oh, to do it. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, because I use copious amounts of bias binding. So um, having a, a little gadget that helps you. That's it. It saves a lot of time, yeah. doesn't it? So I've sewn that, um, pressed that so that it's a little bit short of the underside. I'm not going to do the whole thing because there's also the applique for the... Um, Pocket. Oh yeah, and you can choose whether you want well. to do the egg cracking yeah. or the Christmas pudding. That comes on, printed on the pattern, that one. Brilliant. Um, and I want to just uh, talk a little bit about the different ways of putting the applique on. So, Because although it's a really, really simple make, there are so many options that you oh, can yeah. use. That's it, loads of great construction ideas. Let's take this out of the way. So there we are, well there's our pocket. and. We're going to take our bias binding that we've pressed and it's going to go and just wrap over. I've made inch binding here, but you can see on this one I've made here. That's the thinner this one, is isn't it? This is the thinner one. That's the half inch. So you only get a quarter of an inch right. around the outside edge. There you go. That one as well, I think, is using the half inch binding, the one that you can see on your screen. No, which is... It's, it's yeah, that's, that's the, the small one. one. Yeah. yeah, that's the small one. So we're going to... Just wrap the binding around the outside edge. And because it's on the bias, bias it'll go round your corners nicely. Do you need to clip it or pin it or anything? If you're new... If you're, if you're new to it, yes, I would. I don't, because no. obviously I do a lot. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, if you're new to this, I would. And are you sewing close to the end of your blue fabric, if you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, I'll take it out in a second and I'll show you. So you can see that that's what's going to take the time. Yeah. The actual construction doesn't take hardly any time at all. And it's the same on the adults. Exactly the same on the adults. So there we go. And then that's caught on the back as well. Oh, lovely. So oh, yeah, doing that little So trick. doing that with the pressing so that you press it and the top side that you're going to sew is a little bit back further from the, the back. So that's... And you just go round the outside edge. And... The thing that John couldn't understand was that you don't have to do any joins. No, that's it just crazy. you start you start here. Yeah. And you go all the way around the outside edge and you just carry on. 
and then you come back to the same place. That's it, it's all joined yeah. up. Yeah, so there are, there's no joins or anything Brilliant. like that in your bias binding. That's all the, done. So How there, much I would go in there. Do you need then? For the largest, size. well, yeah, the largest child's one, you need five meters. Okay. So obviously, you wouldn't need as much for the smaller ones, but for telling people, uh, you yeah. know, it's five meters. And for the adults, um, you need seven. Okay. A minimum of seven. But um, one thing I did get with those ones when I did the gingerbread men, I did manage to get two of the smallest sizes. That's the smallest yeah. size. I managed to get two of those out of one meter. Oh, brilliant. So, you know, it depends how you fold it. So there, we've, that's our bias binding. Shall I go on to do the um, applique first and then do the bias binding at the end? Yeah, that's as brilliant. Yeah. As a thing, you know, yeah, in we itself. Can, um, yeah, we can yeah. talk about the bias binding maker in a minute. Yeah. So if, I, if anyone hasn't used Bonderweb before, that's uh, one of the things that... Uh, so we're including these templates brilliant. today, aren't we? The, um, yeah, the Christmas pudding Christmas ones pudding as well. One. We're looking at the egg cracking one, yeah. aren't we? But you get both. Yeah, yeah, because the egg one comes, the baking one comes with the apron. So if you haven't used Bonderweb, it's a way of adhering things to fabric. So you trace off your pattern and then put the sticky side. You can tell because it's quite like bubbly. Put that to your fab back of your fabric. And iron it on. And then you press it on. So I've already um, prepared this pocket. Be oh, I love it. I've, I've bonded the um, cream, custard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I've already bonded this bit on here. So that needs to be finished. I haven't finished it, but um, I thought with this one, you could do a zigzag around the outside yeah. edge uh, all the way around. With oh, I haven't got that one. With yeah, the really with the baking one over there, that's just a raw edge applique. There's nothing that's just straight lines round. Right. And or you could use freezer paper to do a turned applique if you really wanted to. This is why they got in the silk thread because I use silk thread and I absolutely love it. But the only thing is, if you're new to using silk thread, and I know they, I think they might have sold out again. Yeah. <laughs> You do have to knot it onto your needle because it's quite frustrating because it doesn't stay on a needle. Um, so you do knot it and it, it goes through your fabric, no problem, um, but it'll keep the thread in place. Oh, lovely. But the needle turn applique takes longer, doesn't it? Yeah, because the best way to do that is with freezer paper and that's a whole different sort of demo yeah. in itself. But you can see that um, on here, you can't hardly see any of the um, stitching. No. Oh gosh, so I love that. We need to get some more silk threading. Oh, it's wonderful stuff. It really is. Yeah, so you knot it onto your needle and then if I turn it over, you can't hardly see any stitches at all. No, that's beautiful. So if you don't like raw edges, that's yeah. the way to go. Nice. But if we go back to this one, I, what I'm going to do, as I said, I've already done this and I would normally um, finish off this edge here. So I've got to press that on. With the, uh, the Christmas pudding, by the way, put together some fat quarters. So you get two fat quarters, one of the brown and then one of the cream. So you get two fat quarters for 3 49 And that's plenty enough, isn't mm. it? Yeah. £3.49 for your brunette and cream. Two fat quarters, £3.49. Don't forget, you do get the Christmas pu uh, pudding pocket applique as well as an addition today. Right, so then when you're putting your pocket on, you, you pin that down. You're actually going a little further over so that that doesn't show when you've got your pocket on. You know, I've had a Christmas pudding, Paul. <gasps> I love Christmas oh, pudding. Oh, it's wonderful stuff. Fruit. I'm always too full to always eat clotted it, Oh, no, clotted cream can't beat it. I always I get to that point and I'm like, oh, if I'm really full. <laughs> I'll, I'll have some later and I always end up not having Christmas pudding. I've still got one in my yeah. cupboard from last mm -hmm. year, I think. So they last. They last really well, yeah. Oh, look, I've pinned through both the, both the layers. That was silly, wasn't it? I've got two layers there. So you're just pinning through the one. Yeah. Well, you'd only have one, wouldn't you? Because yeah, it'd, be yeah. <laughs> it'd be your apron. I should have cut this down, really. 
So we're now, now I've got that done, this is going to be your pocket. So you've got to actually fix this onto your apron somehow, um, having finished all this edge here. Mm -hmm. But I thought with this I could perhaps just do a zigzag all the way around the outside yeah, edge. Yeah, there's loads. I mean, this is a really good chance to use some of your, your sort of applique stitches on your machine. Yeah. There's some lovely ones, blanket stitch or... Yeah. Yeah, I, thi I think... I'm not sure, but I think the red like one's blanket, blanket stitch. stitch. Yeah, on the yeah. other Christmas pudding. Oh, I'm, I'm so pleased you all love the tea time fabric as well, isn't that? Oh, awesome? that's lovely. It's it would really be lovely. really lovely for a penny, wouldn't it? Yeah. Remember, it's extra wide, so you need a metre of it. Um, and it would be really, really nice to be able to have. You can have, pick your favourite bit and fussy cut it for your pocket, your teapot maybe. No, I won't go all the way around. Half of the stock of the pattern has gone and loads of you have put these in your basket, so please don't wait to the end of the demo to check out if you do want the pattern. Remember, it's size adult size 10 to 20 and um, this, all the children's size is included as well. You get yeah. the two patterns in there, yeah. which is brilliant. Well, and it's in a, in a carrier as well because I'm assuming that people are going to do multiple sizes, so they'll trace off and they can keep them all together. Yeah, Whereas in an idea. envelope, they'd have to look for something else, wouldn't they? Good idea. So I've, I've zigzagged around there, and that has actually joined the pocket, will join the pocket as well. So you don't have to do put the pocket on and then do your finishing. Okay. That will actually finish. So I've just gone from around the outside and I've just carried on all the way round. Perfect. So that's the way that you put on your pocket and you've also got your... Um, oh, I brought the wrong colour really for that, didn't I? It's not going to stand up very well. And then you also put on your... Oh, do you know what we had earlier on? The green glitter. Do you know the green glitter fabric that we have? Yeah, that would be lovely. Uh, that, yeah, I was going to say, this has got a bit of sparkle. Yeah, that one's it? got a glittery. Uh, yeah. It looks lovely with the glitter. Oh, I love that. And then you'll just do the same. I would have put that up a bit higher. But oh, I don't know. It's not quite the same, is it? <laughs> it shows up a little bit. With the with stitching, the stitches. it will show up, yeah. And then one the other side. And that's your Amazing, finish. that's all your applique. Yeah, yeah. So like you say, it, you can you can go as wild as you want with yeah. this, can't you? Yeah. You can do it. I love as applique as though, it's one of my favourite things. I I um and I, you do I could do loads. Don't you? You love doing yeah. a bit of everything. Yeah. But it, it's good fun yeah, because it's applique it keeps is lovely. Yeah. But yeah, I, I said I would show you how to do the what what time have we got? How long have we got? Because I have twenty minutes. Oh, okay, lovely. I have prepped some of this. I'm not going to be. The, I'm not going to uh, challenge you to do it no. all. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Need to go straight again. Oh, while I'm thinking of it, shall I just show you this? Because I said to Cat that I was going to show this because I had that Christmas. I did the twist, twisted um, quilt with the Christmas panel. Oh yeah. And I think you've had it on today, haven't you? Yeah, the um, yeah. the table runner one. No, which one? No, sorry. the panel, the fabric panel. Mm. Did you have a, a panel on this morning, earlier on, the Christmas oh, one? Oh, yes, of yeah. course we did. Our yeah. panel one. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Well, I was saying that we... Um, I have no idea. I was thinking you were on about one of your designs. So, oh, no, no, the fabric. Christmas panel yeah. that we because had Because I did hour. this one with a, a jelly roll. Oh. And it was quilt, like, you know, a quilt as you go, so it's reversible. But I thought with the Christmas panel, that would be lovely. Oh, wow. Yeah, because it looks nice with the stripes. So how have you done that? Again, just... Just quilt as you go. You've got your fabric, your back fabric there. You've got your fabric and then you just lay down your first strip. Right. And then just keep adding. Oh, yeah. Right. It's, it's only £20 as well, so it's really good value for money. Yeah. And you get loads of strips on yeah. there and it's wide. I would have thought you would be able to get your binding out of it as well. Don't... Don't quote me on that. Yeah, but, but I would have there. thought because there's a lot of fabric there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, give it a go. Give it a go. Yeah. You might need to put a bit from your stash, but, but you'll definitely would be get nice. enough to get started yeah. with your binding. Yeah. Great. Right. So to get your, for you, as I said, you can get four and a half um, or four, four and three quarters. I got this morning out of um, a fat quarter of your bias binding for your apron. If you want to do the narrower one, this, the one that comes out. Um, half a uh -huh. half an inch you get eight and a half so plenty for the adult apron brilliant 
So you start off with your fat quarter. That's crazy, isn't it? When you think, oh, actually, I'm going to need loads of fabric to be able to do that much binding, but you don't. No. So you get your fat quarter, and then you have to make it into a square. So we'll, we'll just cut this off. It, nothing is precise. You don't have to worry too much with precision. So I love that. There we are. They're not left-handed ones, are they? No. No. <laughs> So you're going to make yourself a square and then you're going to cut down on the diagonal they sound nice sharp scissors they don't, don't they, don't they? <laughs> yeah <laughs> i love that noise they've been through the fiskers <laughs> so then we're going to have one one way and then we'll lay this one on the top. You can see we've got the bias edge there and the bias edge there. And these are both the non-stretch sides. Do you need to be a bit careful when making bias bias and you're not warping your fabric and handling it? Yeah, you don't, you don't, when you're putting it on, you don't yeah. want to actually stretch it. Okay. But if you, um, if you just let your machine do the work, don't pull your fabric. Um, I think the worst thing is if you start, I haven't cut that very well, if you start and then start pulling your fabric through. I'm going to jot down today's date and remember how to do this because I've never seen this demo on, on air before of how to make bias binding. This is great because I've always... Well, it's continuous made. bias binding as yeah. well. So, you know, you don't have to keep doing your right angles. Oh, nice. Okay. So, and then we're going to... So are you sewing these together? Sewing these together, I'll, I'll show you in a minute what you, what you end up with. Quarter of an inch seam allowance are you doing? Normally, yeah. I mean, I'm running, running the edge of the foot along the fabric, but normally I would do quarter of an inch. You break a few rules, don't you, with telly sewing? <laughs> So there, that's what you've done. You've put your two sides together, mm -hmm. making sure that your bias sides are in the middle. Okay. Okay, and you open that out, and then you get what I believe is called a parallelogram. There you go. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's, uh, uh, well, we have no idea where we're going. Don't <laughs> ask us, we don't know. <laughs> so then you can press it out, but I've got my trust, trusty little gadget here. Paul thinks it's a pterodactyl. <laughs> This roll is, is this something. another little gadget. Yeah, this that is we another thing. To. Yeah, that I thought, oh, they can't be that good, but they are. Look at that for Look, a press. Brilliant. <laughs> it's not going to make your iron completely redundant, but it's brilliant no. for, for no, because I'm going to need the iron in a minute. Yeah. But um, you know, just to get that done. Great. So we've got to that stage. I'll get it out of the way. I've had to prepare it because it would have taken a, a lot longer. Right. Than. Uh, what we've got. Can so you see the lines on there? Because Alison's drawn yeah. some lines. We've got, because we're doing a, uh, using the two inch one, you, um, the one, you're going to make one inch binding, so you double it and you cut okay. your fabric two inches. Right. Um, and with the one inch one, um, half inch one, you would do a one, one inch. inch. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to draw, oh that's the wrong way. I get confused with some of these rulers because they've got the half inch on the edge, haven't they? Yeah, so that's so really So I've gone happened. the other way around. And what I've done is I've drawn, this is where I said about the chalk, I've drawn the lines at two inches all the way up. And you've got to remember that you're doing it on the bias edge. Okay. Because that's what you want. You want this bit to be your bias. So I'm going all the way up, right the way across the fabric, for uh, for all the two inches. Okay. Uh, the graphics are live, by the way, of for the smaller one. So this one is for the. Sorry, no, it's not. It's for the big one, isn't it? This is your one inch bias binding, which is the one that Alison's making today. We have got the smaller one as well on the website, but this is the bigger one today. Right now, this is where it's, it seems a little bit strange because you're going to fold it over and you're going to do another seam, but your seam isn't going to join the edge of your fabric. The edge here, how can I explain this? 
This this corner mm -hmm. is going to take. Hang on. <laughs> to there. So I'll put it down on flat in a minute. Oh, it'd help if I did it the right way round, wouldn't it? I've got to do a seam that way. <laughs> It's a bit of a faff at this stage because you're actually, you've got all this here, but it'll all come, come right in a minute. So here's our corner and we're not going to join it with the edge of our fabric. We're going to do it, we're going to join it with our first drawn line. Right. So if we put that there, I won't pin it, but we're going to sew along that line. So you're actually twisting it to the next the next drawn line. You don't have to worry about this bit too much because you're not on the bias on this bit. So you don't need to worry about it pulling. It won't stretch this bit, no. So now we need to fold it out and we've got a barrel. This is great, isn't it? I don't, I've never ever seen it done this way. This is such a brilliant... And then we're going to press that idea. out again. Little roll and press yeah. available on the website. It's Clover Roll and Press and they are brilliant. They're brilliant, absolutely brilliant. <laughs> um, Rebecca messaged in saying, Challenger, go on, Challenger, I bet she <laughs> could do it. <laughs> There we go. So you've got your barrel now, and all you're going to do. Oh, is that Becky, um, Alison's daughter? <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> you're going to cut all the way round on your lines because your lines, if you take me a little bit more time, line up. <laughs> oh, brilliant. So then it's one continuous. It's one continuous piece, yeah. until you get to the other end. You need to jot down today's date because I won't remember how to do this completely. I need to do it along with you at home. <laughs> I was very aware when I recorded and I watched back when I did the um, baby rag quilt, how much I poked my tongue out. Ah, that's so <laughs> funny. I just know you do that. Do you know Kat yeah, does that that's all the what, time? That's what made me think of it. I was there going, Concentration <laughs> base. Oh, Gat and Joe, is it a Wilcox thing? <laughs> you all do it. Um, Kat was doing a boomerang earlier on, which you'll see for a really exciting bundle that's coming up tomorrow. And she was very safely stood on a chair from above doing an aerial shot. And she started going like this. Doing I was like, Kat, what, yeah. what are you doing? Doing yeah. this wiggle. And what are you doing with your tongue? And she says, I'm concentrating. Now, if you're doing a lot of this, <laughs> This part of your thumb is about an inch. This is how precise I am at home. <laughs> and the full length of your thumb is normally about two inches. So, you know, it's, it's not critical because all your edges are going to be folded in. That's a lovely colour blue, isn't it? This is... Um... I'll stop there because, you, you know, you can see what's happening. Keep going round and round and round and round and round yeah, and round, round, and round, and round, and round, round in circles, and you get one long of piece. Continuous binding. Yeah. Right. So then, how do I fold this? Right. We're going to cut a little point. Yeah. And then, with our little gadget, if you just roll it up slightly at the edges and feed it through. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Come on, Paul. We're getting there. Ah, I'll start again, shall I? Oh, thank nope. you. All right. So you're going to roll up the edges a little and just feed it through. You can see this is where you're going to feed it and your edges are going to roll up here. Right. So we're going to 
So you don't need to do any folding yourself so far? No, but no. then I'll, fo I'll fold over and just get a pin and pull it through. And then it's coming out as bias binding. <gasps> and you can pin it to that mat, can't you? And sort you of can, drag but you. you don't need to. No, because it, if you're doing four and three quarter metres, you yeah. don't, you'll have to keep changing it. You really don't need to. So if you start this end, look, I'll just start that flat. Oh, brilliant. You have to be careful at your joins. So what I'll do is I'll cut off this little little earpiece there. Sometimes they go through nicely, but we'll have a look. I might have to. Oh, that saves so, so it much round. time, doesn't it? Instead of folding it um, yeah. by hand and trying pull. to get them accurately together. Has that gone through all right? Yeah. Had to give it a little bit of a tug. There we go. Just Only carry on till the time. end. They're brilliant, aren't they? And as I said, that that um, cork fabric would be lovely as a pocket. Mm, yeah. And doing your bias binding. Yeah, I'd do quite a thick binding like this yeah. with the cork one because you want to make a feature of it. Yeah, I mean, this does four and um, three quarters. So obviously, the bigger square you have the more bias binding you get. So if you wanted the um, seven metres for mm -hmm. the apron, just make your square a bit bigger. I mean, I did, <laughs> a while back, I did uh, 140 centimetre square, and it did, I think it was 36 metres. Gosh. Because I challenged someone on Staffordshire Stitches, our Facebook group, I said, the person that can tell me how much I got out of this can have the binding <laughs> Oh, because it was just a qu you know just something I wanted to try out well that's it I think I bet there's lots of things online where you can if you want to work out how much binding you need what square to cut or yeah I bet there's lots of things uh, there must be conversions us. there somewhere yeah yeah I suppose it's a bit of trial and error jot it down write yeah. it down make yourself a little binding notebook of what to do so it's nice to have a little bit of best press as well Oh, that's twisted round now. But um, that's how easy it is. Oh, it's brilliant, isn't it? It's only £5.99 as well. We do have the smaller one if you want to do finer binding, uh, like the one that Alison's got on at the moment, her apron that she's wearing, um, is finished half inch binding. So you need to yeah, cut so one inch strips. Yeah, and on with that you. means that you get half of that. So you, oh, you've got a quarter of an inch. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so you've got a quarter of an inch showing. Oh, yeah. I'm with you. Yeah. I mean, if you don't want bias show binding showing, you can still use it. Use the narrow one and put it on like you would on a hem on a skirt. If you, if you don't want it showing, if you don't want the... I mean, you wouldn't use this width, but you would just sew around here. You mm -hmm. could sew your line up in it. I mean, I like the contrast, but yeah, I you do. might. So you would sew it like that, and then you could fold Pull it, it over. further over, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you would do it with the thinner than that because you wouldn't want all that, would you? Because you'd have a problem then at the shoulders, because it because you're also folding in your your edge there, so it would make your shoulders a little a bit, bit narrower. Too thin. Yeah. Yeah, but no, I think it's lovely having that contrast. And if you don't want to, then just use the same same colour fabric to yeah. do your binding. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, you get eight and a half um, yards from the other size that you've got. And just you have to make sure you cut off these little ears there because that's a bit bulky and they fold up when you're going through. I know people who joins. spend like time just doing bias binding, even not necessarily for a certain project in mind, but just yeah. spend time so they've got lots of binding yeah. already done. I have. Have you? Yeah. But I do have an electric binder as well. What's that? I know. Hayley tried to look it up, but apparently they don't make them anymore because I think they would sell like hotcakes. It's ah. a machine. Um, it's by Singer, but you just... It does all this for you. It's heated and, yeah... But if you just want a little, it doesn't matter if you want a little bit. Yeah, yeah make one, Paul. Yeah, okay, there you do. go. Get your engineering hat on, Paul. <laughs> Are we all right with time? How is the time getting on, Paul? 
We've literally we got a couple of minutes. Oh, that's, I'll stop there because that's a bit of a tug on that one and I'll get that off. There. So if you get a bit of best press on there then. Can you make straight binding with these little uh, yeah, with these if tools? Yeah, if you don't need it on the bias. Yeah. yeah, if you only want it for, say, um, a table runner or something that's yeah. just got straight, straight edges. Yeah. No the reason you do all. bias is because you go around these curves, isn't yeah. it? So you want it to be able to curve yeah. around. If you're doing straight binding, it won't ease around the curves as well. Uh, this is a message from Emma. She says, great demo, Alison. I'm hand sewing bias binding as we speak. <laughs> she says, uh, I love how it finishes the project it so does. neatly and pretty. Yeah. Would you recommend then potentially if you if you want to and you want the time to hand sew the back of your you binding. can do you can do i mean i don't because it's a long way and yeah. it takes <laughs> takes quite a while but yeah if you want a, a neater um neater finish yeah you carry on put it to the back and then uh, finish it by hand preferably with silk thread yes oh lovely <laughs> and then you won't see your stitches <laughs> actually with a couple of minutes i could have showed that but yeah so that's uh how you would finish it off around the outside edge. Shall I, have I got time to just finish off around this cush uh, cushion? <laughs> pocket. <laughs> around the pocket. How we, we've we literally got about a minute, so don't, oh, no, don't okay, worry, it's, yeah. all, it's all fine. Like you say, we've done this a couple of times, haven't we? So I know that we've done Fourth a Fourth of July. Brilliant, oh, that's um, good to know. I think that one's got the silk thread and the freezer paper applique. Oh, lovely. When I did that one, I think that might have been the 29th of July, and okay. that one was done um, with the pudding. Yes. And I think that was the one with the um, eau de coat as well. Oh, lovely. Because with the eau de coat, um, different schools on that, whether you put the eau de coat on first or whether you put it on afterwards, because I'd ha already had that cut out, I put it on once it was cut out, but I found that as I was pulling it to the edges, it was pulling away um, threads. Yeah. So I personally, and it is personal choice, would put the eau de coat on first Before and then cut, cut out. out my pattern. Okay. Because then you've got no stretching of edges or anything and no, no threads coming out. Yeah, good idea. Yeah. I think that's what they sort of recommend yeah. anyway, yeah. isn't it? But I got to the point where I got eau de coat after what I made projects. for next? And I was looking around like, what else can I make water resistant? Yeah. It's so yeah. much fun, isn't it? it and is, it's yeah. really, really handy. Yeah. Um, thank you ever so much. It's so it's lovely right, to welcome. see you back. Yeah. You've got your chauffeur coming to get you anyway, haven't you? Yes, oh, we're out there now telling me that it's raining quite heavy oh no <laughs> uh, it's lovely to have you thank, thank you, you very Linda's much just asked a question she says alison apron is lovely she says is it the same pattern as the currently one yes. on sale yes yeah, yeah it is yeah. really popular just different yeah. choices of fabric yeah I bet you've got loads yeah. of different fabrics yeah oh i have i've got loads <laughs> yeah <laughs> even my brussels sprout one for christmas oh brilliant covered brilliant, in brussels brilliant. sprouts <laughs> it's so good to see you back thank when, you very much when are you back it's been fun with us? Um, 17th, I think, November And fingers 17th. crossed we'll have the... Um, yeah, Becky's roll. Up. Hope so, my sweet. Brilliant. Fingers crossed. That'll be so exciting. <laughs> it's lovely. I'm so excited for her. <laughs> oh, brilliant. And you're coming in to demo it, I'm aren't demoing you? it, We need yeah. to get Becky on it, oh, don't Oh, I don't we? think she will. She said, no, Mum can't do that. But then she's down in Cornwall. Yeah. She's yeah, away, away. Quite away. Yeah. But anyway, lovely to see you. Thank you very Thank much. you ever so much, Alison, as always. Thank you. Um, <laughs> so, the pattern itself, if you do want to grab that, it is the one that Alison's wearing. It's the one that you can probably see dotted around the set as well. Um, it, we are close to selling out. And today, we're also including the templates as well for your applique Christmas pud. So on the pattern itself, you get the one with the crack in the eggs. And it's up to you if you want to put uh, your own little stamp on it. Maybe you've got some templates at home that you want to, uh, you know, use different templates, hearts or flowers or whatever you want to do, whatever you use it for. Put a sewing machine on the front if you're using it to, whilst you're in your crafting room. So, I mean, there's loads of options, but you also do today get your Christmas pudding templates. So, your pattern is just $14.99. And I know so many people who have said, I've made loads of these. In fact, we had a message not long ago saying, you get, I I've made 10 of them, and they're all on their way to, for gifts around the world, which is so exciting. But it isn't just the adult pattern here. You also have the children's pattern in there as well. Size 10 to 20 for adults, uh, 14.99. It's nice because it covers your bum as well. It crosses over at the bottom. So I actually, <laughs> Alison's like doing a little uh, twirl for us. But actually, it's one of those aprons that if you do need to nip out to the shops or like if you're doing it in a denim, it looks really, really nice anyway. It looks really, really nice as a dress anyway. So it is fab design. We love it. And yeah. 
I know a lot of people like a pattern hack. Yeah. And if you want to, because this is an apron, it's not shaped, but if you wanted to just dart it, it would be more a tunic. Oh, nice. You only need to put in a couple of bus darts. There you go. So, yeah. Nice tunic. <laughs> Brilliant. Thanks, Alison. A little Alison. bit of a hack. Put your pictures on the Facebook um, page as well when you've made them. We'd love yeah. to see them. Uh, also, if you... Um, oh, what, sorry? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was a good price. The early bird today, if you do want to have a go mm. and you want some beige fabric, two and a half metres was the early bird and it was a brilliant, brilliant price. Make the most of it. And all these fabrics are just gorgeous, aren't they? Uh, tomorrow's show, we've got lovely Debbie back tomorrow with... Clive, whatever you do, don't miss it. Clive is such a character, he's brilliant. I've known him for the last couple of years and I love him. So eight o'clock, miss it, miss out on fabric. Nine o'clock, we've got a men's shirt, which so many people have been asking for. I think it was Alan who messaged in saying, when are we gonna do some men's patterns? We've got a men's shirt coming up with lovely Clive at nine o'clock. 10 o'clock, November's flower of the month. At 11 o'clock, we're also going to be doing a stretch pull on Mrs. Dress with, um, with Clive as well. And he is, it's his first show. So send him lots of messages. You probably uh, will know him off Facebook as well. He's, he's, he's always messaging in and, uh, on the, uh, the, the fan page as well. So yeah, really, really excited to see him. That Miss It Miss Out air, by the way, we've got the mega Moda mystery bundle i don't know whether cat's going to do a bit of a sneak peek on social media later so have a have a bit of a look out for that uh, it's been brilliant to be with you for the last the last uh, few days thank you ever so much for your company happy halloween everybody i hope you have a nice safe happy Hall halloween and, um, and enjoy some nice treats this evening um, we're going to go to another replay but then i'm back on jewelry maker later this afternoon so i'll see you there from two o'clock please do come join me debbie will see you tomorrow at eight o'clock